Okay, everybody, welcome to Manor Lords. We're not playing something I normally play, we're playing something a little different today. I uh, got a code for this in my email like a week ago or so and was super stoked for it because I've been following this game for like two years now. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I think I'm going to stream it if I get some time and I got some time, so we're going to, to stream it. Um, I have played a little bit. Uh, I basically did some of the pe more peaceful tutorial starts. Uh, I haven't really done any of the combat or the, the like mid to late game stuff. So I think that's probably what we're going to try today and, you know, get to stabbing some people. Uh, I'm going to turn the audio up a little bit more. So you guys can hear things. Cool. Yeah, you guys can hear that. Ah! <laughs> Kulif, thanks for the doodly. Um, so yeah, let's pop into the game. So we need to make ourselves a a little guy here. So obviously it's going to be Magnus. Uh, I'm going to pick this guy because he's the only one wearing armor. Uh, and we need to make... I don't want to spend too much time with this, but there is a fairly in-depth coat of arms maker because you could do a lot of fucking shit like there's so much stuff you could do with this to make it very in-depth um so i'm probably gonna go with something fairly simple we love you. for the start yeah, baby, I know it. i'm angry that you're gonna make me spend money on this game mm. Finally, new RimWorld DLC releases. Time to play something different. I, I, I'm waiting on like two mods still, Cyrus. Just a couple. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is let's see. It's been a while. Scale this. Do we want here? Let's. Um, oh, we just make a bunch of lines. Can I scale? We can even reverse scale. Can I move this up? Can I move it? No, I can't, like, move it around. Um, I don't think. I'd ha I think it has to stay there. And then if we go to field B, can we just go do it the same thing and then have the... the uh, okay, so, like, can we do... We go like that, and then like that. And then, I shed the blood of the section men. Oh, yeah, that kind of works. Okay, and then um, can we go, like white and then black ah that kind of looks cool I, i'm going for something super super simple what mods uh some of the fluffy mods um i think it was like uh, medical tab and work tab i was really looking forward to like work tab for me is like mission critical okay um i think i think that's perfectly fine though because it's just something simple and easy and i like it uh, so let's just go with that. But you could spend fucking ages in here fucking around with this. We're just gonna go for something simple. Uh, and this is the one I've done before. Rise to Prosperity. So there's... Coming soon, uh, AI city building is under rework. Okay. Uh, we have Restoring the Peace. Two territories in the north are claiming, uh, claimed by the illegitimate Baron whose castle is located off the map. Bandit camps reside in others. Uh, unclaimed regions, build and expand at your own pace. When ready, challenge the Baron in the Northern Territory. So we're probably going to do this on maybe... Do we want it on probably default difficulty because I haven't done this before? Um, which... Uh, I did fine on this one, but we'll leave it on default for now. See how we see, see how it goes. You could kind of uh, like soft lock yourself pretty easily in this game. Um, or... Or kind of like time lock yourself to the point where you need to wait a long time to be able to do something. So it's easy to fuck it up if you're not paying uh, very close attention. But lots of things you could um, change if you want to as well. Uh, so I think I'm just going to keep it completely... Is there other... No, no other maps. Uh, completely default. Many mods uh, work without update required. Only two mods require code change. Yeah, I'm actually running a bunch of mods that haven't updated, but I have tested and they're perfectly fine. Okay, okay. A new message. Uh, build up your town, your manor, and, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim is spent, press be ready for battle. Okay. So we start off with a very small amount of people that are homeless and a small um, and, and one ox. And some supplies and some food to last four months. And that's it. Uh, and this is our map. 
So these are the claimed regions, these are the unclaimed regions, and this is my region right here. So we have some iron, a little tiny bit of iron, we have a fuckload of clay, and a little bit of stone, and a medium amount of berries, and a medium amount of animals. So the only thing we are rich in is these this clay deposit, so that might be our only <laughs> uh, substantive uh, material for a while, but we can check. One thing I always forget to do early on is to check fertility uh, because it kind of dictates how much you're going to be able to sorry I'm not reading the tutorials because I've, I've read them all before it really dictates how uh, how much you're gonna be able to grow so not gonna be able to really grow flax not really this one sucks not really gonna be able to re, uh, to grow barley I am I do have a fair bit of a uh, uh, rye fertility And some emmer, which are, uh, that, that's basically wheat. No smell, no fire hazard yet, works in progress. But it looks like there is some stuff to work with, like back here would be a good spot for a field. Uh, and over here, and up through here. Which kind of means this is kind of the worst area. So we're probably, probably going to start a, a building around here. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right, right in here. That's perfectly fine. We have this little, little road to work with. All in, we get we live in a swamp. Uh, it would be great to be able to gain access. That's a fuckload of iron and a fuckload of stone. Yeah, so we're gonna have some success growing, but not a whole lot, uh, which means we're gonna need to get food. Where, where was our the wild animals are way over there. The berries are right here, so we're probably going to get our initial food from those two. But let's start building. Um, and I think what we're going to start with is some resources. So we're going to put in the logging camp because we absolutely need that. And look at this. We've got... Uh, I don't know if there's a high visibility... Here, let's check something. I want to see if there's a high visibility for the, um, the thingy lines. What are they called? The lines that show elevation changes. Oh, this is something I'm really blanking on. Uh, graphics. Gameplay. Topographical. Yeah, there we go. No, I don't see any options for that. Contour. I, th I think that's the right terminology. Contour lines. Um, yeah, because... You can kind of see them, but how much? There's a hill here, so we might want to... Maybe we reserve that cool little hill for, like, the church or something like that. But for now, I think what we're just going to do is put in the, um... The little the woodcutter back here. Hook it in. Do we want to make... Do we, yeah, let's just straight in. Kablow. Okay. And then I think I will also build a little, because this is where all of our stuff starts, so I'm just going to quickly hook these things in in a little, in a little loop hey so that they're Lord actually connected to some road. Up, starship Simulator? It's a game where you have your own starship and can explore it. Every bolt and button is interactive and you can do whatever you want including captain, engineer, or even passenger. Here is the info. Okay, it, it, it cut you off there. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Um, Starship Simulator. I'm on there, the, the link you just sent me. I'll take a look at it more later. Honestly, whenever I, I see a pitch like this and it's like, we're promising all of these things. It's usually like, oh, I would have I would have bought into it if maybe you promised half as much of that. Because then I might, be, I might believe more that you could deliver it. Uh, but I'll take a look at it later. I'll take a peek. I'm always interested in um, new, new interesting game propositions coming up. All right, so we got the roads in. Uh, we got the logging camp, and I think we'll just... Well, we need... Uh, let's let them finish that up before we do anything else. And you can see we've got the, the little families heading out to take care of it. There should be... Did somebody bring, uh, oh, oh, the ox, I was like, did the, the ox team already bring any stuff over? He did. There we go. 
So the way it works is uh, any f um, unassigned families will work construction. So generally I try to keep like two. And right now they're just waiting for um, uh, construction material to get hauled in. But considering I only have the one oxen right now, I don't want to um, queue up too much stuff just yet. There we go. Alright. Construction finished. So now I'm going to assign a family to work here. And we have a source of timber. Cool, cool. New message. Uh, I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some have spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal, Hildebolt von Burenow. Maybe. Whatever. Okay. So, uh, we have a family who will chop down the trees. Uh, next, I'm going to add in a woodcutter's lodge. I'm probably not going to put it right next to this one, though. Or, you know what we could do? We, we could just stack up all of the, the woodcutting stuff next to each other. And then later on, add in a forester's hut. Maybe we'll do that. So, we'll just put in the, uh, the woodcutter's doodly right there. Uh, and then the next thing is... Here, let's... Also put in the forager's hut. I don't want to uproot any trees if we don't have to. So put that right there. And hook that into the road as well. Boom. That'll provide at least uh, a, 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 a supplementary amount of food for now. All right, and that that will get us a small amount of food and firewood to keep us going. And then once those are built, then we'll need to start getting some houses installed because people need buildings to live in. Hope you'll continue Ultimate General this weekend. Uh, I don't know if I'll continue it this weekend. Uh, it kind of depends on some RimWorld stuff, but I will be continuing it, yeah. So we're waiting. Oh, oh they've already they've already uh, brought the stuff over. So we are going to assign a family to woodcut. Assign a family to forage. All right. So now we have timber coming in. We have firewood coming in. We have the other thing. Food. <laughs> now I played a little bit of uh, of Ultimate General offline after my. My failures of the last weekend, and uh, I came up with some strategies I want to try out. Um, all right, so now we're gonna put in some houses, and the way you do houses in this is is the thing of beauty. So I'm gonna put in a uh, housing plot here, and the way it works is you just basically assign four points, and it snaps to curves, which is awesome. And I don't have enough material for this. Uh, I only have enough for four. So here, what if we did it like... Kind of want these... these I, I kind of want these to be fairly small for now, so we could probably go a little smaller. Yeah, so we could do that, and then reduce the number of houses. And build. You can make the plots any size you want. If you make them big enough, they can have things like apple orchards and chicken coops and goat pens and vegetable farms in the backyards and things like that. And the size of the extra plot does matter. But for now, we just need to get some people some houses. Silverwolf, how are you doing? Eat a bag of day. Hey, Lala. Always drop with the big old ducats. Been out of Twitch a while to since I couldn't remember my password and it was weird about me resetting it. Still like being out of the United States? Come on, bandit. Attack. I very much still like being out of the, uh, the United States. I'm uh, two and a quarter years into living in Sweden now and we love it. Um, I got my, you know, my work permit and everything renewed after the first year. So we're, we're at, it's good for two years. So that's all good. But yeah, we love it here. It was great. We're very happy. Uh, yeah, so I'll let these uh, finish construction. Then we need markets and we need some, um, like, uh, like a granary. Tears has gone quick. Damn straight it has. 
Right. Uh, are we? What are we waiting on? Are we waiting on trees? Are we waiting on? Oh, you know what? We might be just waiting on the ox. So you start off with a very small amount of money. Yeah, we have supplies, but we don't have uh, an ox around. So what I'm going to do is assign one family to ox, and then I'm going to buy up another ox. So I spent 20 of my 50 ducats I start with on buying up another ox, because the, uh, the, the like, the... Construction is getting held up by hauling. Homeworld three out next month. <laughs> Ox the Ox. I, I'm I'm hoping for good things because isn't Homeworld is Homeworld made by Relic? Is that who makes Homeworld? Cause I I thought so, but I might be wrong. Um, Homeworld three. I'm looking at Steam. Blackbird Interactive, published by Gearbox. Okay, no, I'm wrong. What does Blackbird also make? Blackbird made Starship, Hard Space Shipbreaker. Interesting. Wait. Dickus. Dickus. Interesting. Okay. Didn't think they made that, but they did. It was a cool game. And then it's published by Gearbox. Which doesn't really mean too much. But oh, yeah, hope open to the best. Uh, I really like Homeworld One and Two, so. Relic made Homeworld 1 and 2. Oh, well, there you go. That's where I got that from. I wasn't completely crazy. All right, let's continue. Hard shape shipbreakers break ships hard space. It's a hard, it's a bad name for a game, but it was a good game. It was, it was a very good game with a very terrible name. Is that my, A? Hey, there we go. All right, so pantry is full from the forager's hut because we don't have a granary in yet. Where, where is, where are the constructors? Oh, you were just standing around doing jack shit on the corner. You fuck, he was just standing, that was the guy that was just standing there doing nothing. Shipbreakers was originally a title for what became Whole World Deserts of Carrick. They reused the title, okay. Wait, dude, fin finish one before you move on to the next one, you fuck. Change the priorities so they so he does this right. All right, we have a house. We have one house. All right, cool. And uh, family members join one of the settlers, so some more people just moved in too. Now that they have some place to live. Oh, and this game just, like, it looks so good from, like, every level. BAF! Hey, Ben, have you played Homeworld Cataclysm? All known as Emergent? Homeworld Cataclysm? I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Cataclysm. Uh... No, uh, n n okay, so that came out in 2000, so it was a standalone expansion for for Homeworld 1. No, never, I never even knew that existed. All right, so three houses built, people moved in, four houses built, and we're going to need more than that because we had, uh, I think, five families. Uh, but we now have 19 timber. So you know what we can actually do is let's take um, the the guy off of timber cutting for a bit because we have plenty, and we just need to get more houses built. Um, so let's just build some on the other side of the road here. Again, cut, try to keep it fairly small. I love the snapping. The snapping is so fucking cool. I don't need that many though. Okay, so let's let's scale that back. I just need a couple. Here, do we want? We'll, we'll make some. We'll make some that have bigger backyards. Uh, giggity. Um, yeah, let's do that so that we can put some stuff in them. Okay. And we'll get that construction going. 
And hopefully, now that we, we have uh, a second unassigned family, because we unassigned the family from working over here, the construction will go a little quicker. And then, uh, after this, we need some logistics. We need the granary, which I think um, we'll put right over here. And a storehouse we'll put right next door. Or across the street, yeah, like that. Granary and a storehouse right there. How's the game? Uh, I honestly really like it. I, I think this is a pretty great game. Um, I don't have anything negative to say about it just yet, and I've been enjoying my time. I I honestly just wish I had the full the full release and not just like the preview copy so that I had more to play. Hey, apparently I, I did a thing. Okay, I had enough buildings it's not built. Technically canon. It was made as an add-on that decided to be a standalone, but they lost the game code so couldn't remaster. Aww. Homeworld fans consider it the real Homeworld 2 because it really deals with the aftermath and they're pissed at the potential Homeworld 2 ignored. I don't honestly remember Homeworld 2 that much. Peeps that need a well. Oh, I'm sure they do. Um, I remember Homeworld 1 a lot because I played it a lot, but I only played Homeworld 2 the one time. Okay, so we basically have some development points we can put into ver various different things. Um, so we can uh, unlock orchards, heavy plows, uh, sheep breeding, uh, trapping, uh, forest management doubles capacity of all berry deposits. Might be an easy uh, early win for me just to be able to get more food. Um, I always love uh, beekeeping, source of honey. Basic armor smithing is not what I'm going to go for just yet. Charcoal burning, uh, I haven't actually done this one before. Charcoal can convert one firewood into two charcoal, making refueling fueling twice as efficient. That's good. Uh, trade logistics, okay, so that reduces the cost of trade routes. And this one's cool, it basically allows you to just trade money for firewood and bread. But I don't have a source of money yet, so that's not going to be of too much use for me. Um... Trapping is good. We do have animals on here. Skillfully lays traps in the forest, which has a passive income of meat. I'm thinking one of these two. Let's do the forest management first. Because we're living off uh, twigs and berries right now, and we had a good-sized berry um, deposit, so I think that's a good early win there. And somebody mentioned a well. We do need a well... I think we're, can we put it, yeah, we'll just put it in this little nook in the road right here. Connect it on the, on this side there. Yeah, right. Oh, wait, uh, I have to put an underground source of water. So we have to put it, like, up this way. Okay, that's fine, we'll put it right there. There's, apparently wells need water. New mercenaries available, okay, okay, okay. Oh, fuck, I may have, uh, I may have fucked up. I bought an ox when I didn't have space to put it. And I think what happens when that happens is it wanders away. No! Okay, um, well, in that case, what we could try to do really quickly to fix that problem is I need a saw pit, uh, for planks. So we could put that in and see if the, and tell them to, to work on that like right now. <laughs> and see if I can't get the stable built. Hitching post. Oh, I could build a second hitching post. Yeah, that would be quicker, right? Uh, pack station, storehouse, hitching post. Okay. What was his name? Nautius oh, I just zoomed out real far there for a second. I doubt you'll have time to play it, but sit down and watch it at least. It probably has the best voice actors of the whole Homeworld series. Gearbox released a history of Homeworld on their channel and a lot of comments were pissed Cataclysm wasn't mentioned. Here, where- Oh, it cut off. Uh, resources stolen by Bannis. They stole my berries. They stole- they stole up my berries. 
You're about to release the history of Homeworld on your channel. A lot of comments really pissed they weren't. They didn't, so is it is it <laughs> from their point of view? Is it non-canon then? All right, here we go. See if we can, because it, it's telling me I don't have enough space. So now I have this. So hopefully, we'll assign someone to go to it, and maybe they'll find me an o my ox. Some livestock may run away. So I, I it's. Let's take it up an assignment, but... Alright, this is done. Uh, here, focus on this now, because it's almost done. Uh, this could go to the lowest, because that's not as important now. Also, look how many trees we've already cleared out. I'm not too concerned about the food situation, because we got ten months worth of food. Alright, there's another plot done. I, I, I know, I know, I know. And, uh, the other thing I need is... Here. Oh, okay, you, you linked me the thingy. I do want to watch that. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, is anybody else seen, uh, Fallout, by the way? Turmoil. Ooh, turmoil. Uh, because I watched that over the weekend. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you'll now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, you'll need more weapons to equip, equip all the people as the settlement grows. Alright, form a militia. I haven't done that before. Create new units. Spearmen. Male villagers will eventually, uh, will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment. The weapons and shield depends on the unit type, which is the maximum uh, quality of body armor and helmet, depending on the village's residential level. After building all the necessary equipment at home, the unit recruits uh, as marked uh, as ready to rally. The unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then you'll be able to rally your troops. Okay. So... That was militia footmen. Oh, no. I wanted... I wanted this. I think spears I can handle. Yes, five. There we go. Okay. There we go. Alright, so... I want, I'm very concerned about my... Livestock. Because I only see the one, and it only says I have the one, but it also says I don't have enough stable space. So I'm wondering what's going on there. We'll see. No, no spoilers. I just want to say that I fucking loved it. <laughs> I thought it was very, very good, and I was very pleased with it. Yeah, I, I, I definitely kicked myself in the ghoulies there by fucking up the, um, the hitching posts, I think. Alright, so unassign that, so we have the, um... The extra constructor again. Because. People are because. suffering from the museum, they stop working. Need herbs, okay. A lot of reason fans like uh, this better than Homeworld 2 is that Homeworld 1 creators help uh, write it. Well, none of them were on the two. Oh, okay. Well, there was a pretty big gap between 1 and 2, wasn't there? If I remember correctly. Ew, there we go. Alright, now they'll work on the other stuff. What rule sets uh, are this game? I, I put it everything. I just left on everything on default because I was not confident in my abilities. So I left it on default. All right. So wells under construction. There we go. I zoned out for a second. Uh, Fallout. There we go. We have achieved water. <laughs> Hundred years where Cataclysm is fifteen years later. Oh, I'm, I meant time between one and two coming out, not in-game time, <laughs> development time, real-world time. All right, so we now have a granary, we have a storehouse. Oh, we don't have people to work in them quite yet. So let's see, we've got seven houses and five families. Uh, so hopefully we can get some more people to move in soon. Um. That costs some planks, which I don't have. Love the show, only two episodes in so far. 
Uh, where were the... They're way down here, the wild animals, so we're not going to get them just yet. Maybe we at least have someone work the granary. And then we put in the... Uh, what's it called? Um, I need a market. That's where people buy things. Okay. I'm thinking we use this little corner right here from a market. So, like... Uh, boom. 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 Okay, that fills... That, that fits less stalls than I expected. So maybe start back a little bit further. Oh. Uh, and then... And then square it off so there's a ton. Yeah. 30. That's pretty good. Thinking for the future. It's where people hawk their wares. How's the manor lording? Well, so far, I, I, I fucked up one thing and wasted some money. And hopefully it won't lead to disaster. Alright, we have a food stall and we have a firewood stall. And I need... <laughs> I need more people. Come live here. Ruby down on her found a, a way to hard lock yourself with them. Uh, yeah, I've hard locked myself a couple times playing offline already. Um, got plenty of food. We could actually pull someone off of this for a while to to work on other things. Because this is we here. Let's wait for the month to tick over and see where we sit in terms of happiness. There's one oxen. Yeah. It's telling me I don't have enough uh, spots for my oxen. I think the other one already left. But you guys good? You don't, we don't have a church. Uh, you're saying you don't have fuel. But we have the, the firewood stall with stuff in it. So you just, you just need to be more aggressive with getting your your stuffs so what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is make a little roadie road here yeah that goes there and up and around boom so it's bracketed in a little better there we go hey and i already saw someone uh using the road to get there do i need more i don't need more houses right because these already got people living in them Is this empty? Yeah, that's already empty. Those two are empty. Those those two are empty. You could come live here. Can you believe this game was made by... Yeah, I know. That's fucking crazy. Watching more... Uh, will you watch Warhammer 40k and if it comes to Amazon? Oh my god, yes. Absolutely. fucking All right, all right, all right. So maybe we need to make them happier by providing them... Some, would you like some meat? Uh, I'm way too poor for the church. Uh, but I could... The meat is way down here, and so I could build you your thing over there, and then put a road... Ugh. That is... Oh, wait, wait. That was like, that is, that is a ways. Yes, it is a ways. Mm. Mm. Want it to be a little curvy. The curves are nice. Looks nice and natural. Exposed goods. My goods are exposed. My goods. Bandit camp was sighted. Oh god, there's already bandits? Why does nobody want to live here? I swear we're very nice. We have, we have berries, we have wood, we have water. They have fuel now, that's good. They have, they have weapons. Uh, not, they didn't, they... hmm. Okay. Normally at this point, they just start moving in. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, uh... Because we already pulled you off of here. No, we didn't pull you off of here. Pull you off of this one because we got tons of berries and assign you to this one. 
So we'll get some we'll get some meat. Maybe a, another type of food will make them uh, people happy enough to to move in. There we go. Would it be good to remove the supply spot? Uh, I can't do that manually. I think it only goes away once it's empty empty. And there's some stones sitting in there. And also they do use the, 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 like the storehouses and whatnot before the other things. Those are just kind of like temporary when people drop things on the ground. Uh, storage is full. Okay, that's that one. Are uh, we still good? We still, we need more timber. All right, so reassign you. Can you tell them to grow vegetables in the houses? Yes, that will take a while though, and it's September, so it ain't gonna happen soon. That also costs money, which I don't want to spend right now. Um, but this guy is already working. He's got he's got his meat. I'm hoping another type of food will improve people's happiness. I'm honestly wondering if something's broken. Because this is not updated since we started playing. Nor this should update every month, and it's not. Because it says previous month, homelessness, minus four. What we but do? We haven't what had homelessness since like month two. Save and reload, we could try that. I've never had this problem before where just people never showed up, and I've also never had the problem where that thing never updated. <laughs> Hmm. More area for their stall. Oh, um, did I load the wrong one? Because my, my market's gone. Right, there we go. We might... <laughs> what, is, what the deuce? So, now let's wait another month and see what happens, see if this updates. Because we are, we are like locked on the first month's change. So, it's October right now. Let's, uh, let's wait, wait, what, I don't know. What? Vegetables? I'm talking about the fucking game. <laughs> I do what I want. All right, that that seems to have worked. F f market food variety. It has gone up. Plus one. But also the fact that we've gone this far without like any progress is 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 bad when there's when there's baddies around. All right, cool. Bandit stole her Well, Bandit stole like 11 berries, and we have 16 months worth of berries, so I think we're okay. And yeah, now it's going up again. All right, you know what? I think we're just going to restart this because we've gone like a whole year with like a bug. <laughs> and uh, let's just uh, redo this real quickly. <laughs> Fucking me. I never saw that happen before, and then all of a sudden it happens. <laughs> Alright, um, that one's pretty nice too. So let's do that, and then, and then go to field B, and then do this, and then do that. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, I like that. What if we, uh, but scale it. Oh, it's even got like scratches on there. That's cool. 2.5 and then go back to field A and put it to 2.5 as well. And then there's like a, 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 a nub in the middle. Able to name the families in the game? I don't know. I haven't tried. It 
some food from either a hunter or the vegetable garden would help. Well, that that was definitely a bug. I've ne I've played the game a fair bit, and uh, every month that should be updating as things change, but it had never updated. So I definitely, definitely think that was a bug. Um, I want to get rid of that little nub in the middle, so it meets up perfectly. So two point nine. Oh. F what? There we go. I was like, it was skipping from 2.8 to 3. There we go. Alright. Uh, put the same one, leave it on, on default. We'll try it again and see what happens. This is not like the release version of the game. This is like an influencer build, so this was just like frozen code from a, like a week ago or something like that. Alright. Uh, got it. Let's do this again. Quick like a bunny. So just boom, boom, attach all the things together, boom, there we go, uh, boopity bop over here, here, let's, uh, put a curve in the road, cause curves are nice, uh, what's nice is you could go, oh, super angular, or, ooh, nice and curvy, nice and curvy, uh, let's check, cause now we have different resources, right, yeah, so we have a tiny bit of iron, a small amount of food, a fuckload of clay, and, a, like, that's super rich. And a lot of stone. Okay. So we might start with a hunter this time. Because he's right there. Uh, so, yes. Got it. So this we'll put in. And we'll just pop it in real close here. For now. And then we'll also put in the hunter. Up on this little ridge line. Got it. Go. Put that curve in there, like so. Got it. And then make sure this one's a higher priority. And don't waste my money on a, a fucking up an ox. Like, it, I like bu buying a second ox early to help with uh, the speed of constructions and uh, hauling and things like that. But I gotta remember not to waste it. There's also the fact that the uh, we lost the ox and there was that notification there that was just like, you don't have enough space. All right. We're just good. I'm not gonna write back to that guy just yet. Boom. Construction. Anything. A sign. Cool. Same thing. Firewood camp. Right there. Alright. And then that'll provide us a steady source of food. Uh, we could get berries too. We're just not going to have as much this time. And uh, there's firewood. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, see now it updated again, homelessness minus five. It didn't get stuck on homelessness minus four. Okay, oh, that's already built. Okay, so now houses. Uh, we have enough for three right now, so that's a good start. And... look, That's a good spot for the church right there, or the manor, one or the other. I think we start with um, this little section right here. Like, go boom. Put a bum. Put a boom. Oh, uh, it's gonna say a, a no to this many. But. Here, let's go a little bit smaller. And we can do three. So the way this works is this icon indicates where the main house goes. This house with a plus indicates that you could basically make like a uh, a second smaller house on the plot to increase the amount of people that can live there. And the little one that looks like a shed it indicates that you can put in addition like the farm, like the, the vegetable crop. Um, so yeah, I think that's a good start. Get that going. And yeah, let's check the fertility on this map. Uh, better, it looks like. Still bad for flax, uh, oak is still kind of bad for barley, but like the rye and the emmer, so food crops, be really good. 
We can definitely do bread. Game doesn't have any employment screen. Yes, um, like uh, a Dottage, which is a really, really, really good um, turn-based kind of uh, uh, town management game. If you haven't ever played it, it's very good. Um, has a, has a similar system for like assigning people work, but it has a a, a menu you could pop out. And it's like, these people are all employed in these places, and it gives you pluses and minuses and all in one panel, which is great. First, I had a chance to sit down and watch someone play this. Yes, it could the setting up the houses confused the fuck out of me at first because I didn't know what any of those icons meant. And I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so sometimes you, you want to make really big plots. So they can have like huge vegetable gardens. Sometimes you just want small. Yeah, look at this. It's it's actually going up and down now. It's not just stuck at minus four. That's a, that's a step in the right direction. So like this guy, when he gets built, we can immediately spend some money putting in a chicken coop or something, get some eggs. And what we could do here is just pay two extra logs and expand the living space. So let's prioritize that and just maximize this space right here. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. Whole, everybody's homeless, I get it. I love how dynamically everything comes together too. I've, I've seen a lot of people building um, their, their towns very grid-like, and I don't like doing it because it feels very, like, not medieval to me. So I try, I like, I like roads that just curve and meander. Boom! Another house there. So it went from two to three, and someone just moved in. Uh, this one already has someone living in it. So we can do that as well here. So again, let's... Focus on that one. Brrr. Opposite of RimWorld building, yes. You can you can do it very grid-like, but um, I just don't think it looks as good. It played Ostriv. I it's on my like watch list, but I haven't played it myself. No RimWorld DLC. I'm waiting for a couple more mods to update. Okay, there's the next log. And people should start moving in once we have extra housing for them and the place is in a complete shithole. So let's let them build that and then we'll assign, because I think that's the next log needed, yep. And then we'll start building more things. Uh, so this time we're gonna do the water super early. It's gonna have to be down here. There we go. And I'll expand the living space there as well. 12 timbers, that's plenty. And then what we could do is this one, we can add on one of the like the backyard plots because it's big enough to uh, house that. Kerplow. So this is why I like having another ox fairly, fairly early because they're the ones who have to do a lot of the hauling. The well is done. All right, boom. So now we have enough room. We have five families, five level one families. We have enough room for six. So at this point, someone could move in. Um, and what I could do is, how much is the ox cost? Was it 20, 20 ducats? Cause I want to make sure I have enough money saved up for that. It's 20 ducats. So I could put in a chicken coop or I'm gonna put in the chicken coop. Is this the same map so we don't need to check fertility this time? Uh no, it, it kind of re-rolls the map when you um when you go go again. So we did check I did recheck the fertility. It's a little bit better this time, but not like remarkably so. And we do need uh, to be concerned about food coming in as well. So I think what I'm going to need to do now is get the... And someone just moved in. Uh, right. No, no, no. What was that? Construction complete. Sorry. I heard a thingy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Forger hut. 
No. Yes. Yes. Let's put this over here. There. And I think it's fine if we just kind of have it floop out of the woods there. Okay. So let's... Oops, I keep clicking the wrong button. Let's get the marketplace in again quickly because we are going to need that ASAP. Let's... Uh, I like having a fairly large marketplace early on because it, it tends to be kind of a, a fairly important central location to work from. Thirty-nine. Eh, I think that's a little excessive. Twenty-one. I guess we'll go for twenty-one. There we go. Boom. The road. Oh yeah, the road interface is fucking mint. It just it just works. It just works. Okay, so now they've got a well, they've got a food stall, they got a firewood stall, and I think what I would like is uh. Just a couple more very small plots that have like no extra room, just the houses. Real, real nice and tight in there. And then just make sure we just go hi. And then medium. So that they at least do them in order. There we go. And Redbeard, thanks for the Twitch Prime. And Lieutenant Mick, thanks for the regular doodly. Because, uh, I'm wondering if they need, like, a full house to move into rather than just one of the little extra huts. So move, uh, bring in a couple more. But, timber is fine. Uh, we have meat. We Eggs are being produced, so we have another source of food there. And I do... Oh, shit. I forgot about the forager set. I got distracted by this. Well, let, let, let's just let them keep going. Ah, they stole some firewood. It's fine. All right, let's just put this to lowest. And this one to low. So they go do the other thing. And what, what I love about this is, like... You get down to, to, like, regular level here, but like, foot level, it just looks great. Like, it looks amazing. And if you click on this, you walk around your town. <laughs> get out of the way, pleb! Which is just super cool. Alright, and I think this time what we'll do is go for trapping for the, the passive meat. Yeah, exactly. It's incredible one guy fucking did this. It's astonishing. And it's, it, it just, like, it, it, seriously, it just works. I'm not being facetious. So much of the game is just, it, it, it works as the described. It's cool. But yeah, this is an indie game made by, like, one dude and a little help. All right, all right. So we have fuel, we have food stall, we have a food supply that should go up. Uh, we have no clothing, but that's okay for now. And we have extra, we have extra accommodations. There we are. So many of my favorite content creators are streaming. I can't wait to watch. Ah, uh, this game comes out pretty soon. I think it comes out. In a week or something like that. Okay. Build the church. Uh, I, I don't have enough resources for that just yet. I don't believe. Uh, I need 20 clay. Uh, uh, roof tiles, I think that is. No, those are planks, right? Planks. No, I don't need roof tiles yet. I can do planks. So maybe that's a good way of getting people in a church. Um... Uh, plank it up. Yeah, let's do that. 
Let's get some rubes to move into our town. Thankfully, it's a, it's a short trip right here. We have plenty of fuel so we can take the guy off the woodcutter's lodge for a bit and then we'll assign him to this to cut some planks. And... I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Um, not industry. Not enough goods. Well, can you let can you let me place it down first? That'd be great. Because I want to put it right here. Because I just need to... I got five. So I think one log is five planks, so it's only four logs. It's not bad. Yes. Cool. That's a good ratio. Hey! Just went up. Okay, okay. Things went up. I expect people to move into my town now that we have positive vibes. Pos I'm gonna I'm gonna build I'm gonna build churches. A church for every man, woman, and child. I feel like this is ver this is very rural America. A church for every five families. All right, cool. That's enough planks for the church. At least get the church put down. Uh, and I do like the idea of the church being at the top of this hill here, kind of facing the town. Right there. Then we'll kind of cool, zhuzh it down like that a little. Yeah, there we go. Castle building stage later game, but I don't know if it's uh, defensible like Total War. I have seen other people getting to that uh, stage, like like much further on than not into the game that I have gotten, and it seems awesome. It just seems super cool. Hi, Ben. Oh, it went back down. I've been able to tune, but this looks very interesting. It does. Do, 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 do. Welcome, welcome. And thank you, Caliban. And Zet for gifting. Also, I got a 1440p monitor, 1440p stream one. So, like, the vast majority of people do not have monitors better than just 1920 by 1080. So there's very little reason to stream to higher resolutions. Because almost nobody can watch in those resolutions. Historically, churches were placed at high points as markers for travelers. Oh, that's cool. All right. Yeah, I just got to haul everything in. Ah, 52! Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha-ha! We, we got, we're making progress. We got enough supplies for 12 months, so we definitely are good to go through the winter, which is great. I love that we have the little chicken coop back here to provide us a nice supply of eggs. Not that we have any right now, but we will have a nice supply of eggs. It's easy to have a, lo a large supply of stuff to go for a long time when there's only 15 people living here. So on board for this. Y'all. You know, Y'all, you know, it's a good game. Storehouse. Uh, yes, I will build that uh, before the winter hits in and probably after the church is built. So we can lay that down right now. The storehouse... Which, uh, I will just keep right across the street. And the granary as well. Just right across the street here. And let's just put these at a lower priority. Hello, Mr. Magnus. We Are we ready hey, to do Jersey. unspeakable horrors to some peasants? Uh, I'm willing to do unspeakable horrors to some bandits. Banish two, which I haven't got. I don't know if that if that guy ever did anything else. on a new family started moving in. Woo! We we convinced a rube to move here. Population went up to eighteen. All right, you you gotta be yeah. They're almost ready. Uh, and I think we could probably stop planking and keep. Oh no, yeah, just stop planking now. We don't need that many planks right at the moment. Uh, plenty of wood. You're good. You've you've picked all the berries. 
Okay, um, so I think what I'll do now is upgrade to the small stable. Build a forester yet? No, not yet. Any, uh, mining of stone? No, but I have enough for the church. At least the level one church. Come on, peasants! A pet cat? I don't have a pet right now, but I can grab a cat. As soon as I'm done with my church. <laughs> What else do we need in here? Oh, they got everything they need. All right, so now I'm gonna buy an ox and assign a handler. There we go. I have achieved, well, actually I don't need, I don't need a person in the church just yet, because if you assign someone to, to to be in the church, I'm pretty sure- Ah, more rubes! Uh, I'm pretty sure when uh, people who work at the church are grave diggers, not priests. Well, here, I wanna-, I wanna... Oh! -ho! That looks so cool. Like, here, let's uh... Go like this. Coming around the corner here. We got the market right here, which only has two stalls in it at the at the moment. Turn the corner and BAM! Jesus! <laughs> what is that guy talking about nipples? <laughs> Something about carving him a new nipple? I don't know what he said. Alright, hang on. Sub, uh, Fanny wanted a cat. Hang on, let me go find one. Or a dog. Here, hang on a sec. Oh, they have a cell. You're in the way. Maybe you want to come say hi? Okay, baby Theo. Okay, I got I got a dog. Okay. Up. All the way. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Yep. Okay, sit. Good girl. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not working for some reason. Sorry, sorry about that. I don't know why that scene stopped working, but it, it it's not working. But look, we still got a baby Theo here. She was out, she was sleeping just outside the room. So she's, she's, <laughs> she's kind of a sleepy doggo at the moment. Hi. Theo, smooch? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good girl. Yeah, sorry. Sorry that was fast, but... The, the, the other cam's not working right now. I'll, fi I'll fix that in, uh... I was gonna say in a second. Later. <laughs> fix that later. Alright, get back to our manor lording. We'll try- I'll see, I'll see if I can get you another pet cam later and fix that thing. One of those 16 hour naps, damn straight. Look at this! 21 people! 7 families! I still have living space for 10, so I don't need to build any more. All right, cool. Tight, 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 tight. And we have two oxen now. And, uh, all right, so we've got one assigned here. Um, do we want to have some? Yeah, let's assign one more person there. And we have the, the granary and the storehouse going up now. Gifted a tier three sub to for the dog. That was a big one. Church of us. Yeah, exactly. There's 21 people living here. It needs a real church. All right, there's the granary. Oh, and our militia. Okay, so do the militia use spearmen? No. Spearmen? Got it. Okay. Cool. Tight, 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 tight. tight. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. And are they dumping off supplies? Yeah, they're dumping off supplies. 
Uh, ooh. Oh, they dumped them off, then immediately gathered everything up. So, let's assign one person to the granary. What do they go to the church for? Uh, is the color borders when you zoom or uh, you have to go to the big map? So, if you zoom out, you can see the edge of, like, your plot. And, like, this one's yellow because it's a claimed region. And then these ones are kind of this brownish color because it's an unclaimed region. So, yeah, you can see them on the kind of the little map. Plant out fields during the winter and plant during the spring. That's my idea, yeah. And hopefully we can get a couple more families to move in here so we have somebody to work the fields. I just wanted to make sure someone was on the in the granary so that we can get the, the food moved in. Work area is empty. Oh, there's no more no more berries left, so maybe we unassign this one for until the berries grow back. Although it's October, so they probably won't. Uh, what about you? Uh, you can hunt whenever you like, I guess. It's, it's mostly full. Winter is approaching. We have enough supplies to get through the winter, so we'll be okay. And look at this. Church level plus seven. Come on, rubes, move in. Okay. Um... Do we want to plan out some fields now that it's October? Let's uh, pause the game. And I think rye is going to be kind of our big thing. And we have a huge workable rye area back here. So, yeah. Let's, uh... I'm just going to plop the farmhouse right there. Because it's going to look awesome. And then... We'll do this. Because the, the field, I can't, I can't make the field too big, or they're never going to be able to, like, work it. So we'll start with kind of just a, a smaller field around the house, I think. So, uh, a Morgan is a, a size of a field, apparently, and as you change the this, it tells you how big the field is. So I think we'll go for a two Morgan farm. Okay, there we go. So that'll be our first field. Read that as Polish. <laughs> My brain was just like, yep. Small P, Polish. Nah, more rooms! Ah, love it. We already have a road going out there, so that's good. What the fuck is Morgan? I've never heard of it before playing this game. Apparently, it's... It's it's a measurement of a size of a field in some way. Morgan um, measurement. Let's see what the interweb says. Oh, nothing. Morgan field size. The size of a Morgan varies from half to two and a half acres. It is also used in Prussia, the Balkans, Norway, and Denmark. You didn't, you didn't mention that the land in Germany, Netherlands, Poland, Lithuania, and parts of Dutch overseas empires such as South Africa. It, it I, I like that it varies from half an acre to two and a half acres. So it, it's kind of, it's like saying a stone. It's like how much stone is that? Who the fuck knows? It varies. But that's a that's a cute little. Oh, I wish it 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 followed the road better. I could probably have done that better. So you need you need a measurement of massive variance. Yup. All right. So we'll immediately get a family assigned to that. Uh and. Can I not plant? No, I have to unlock rye. So, wheat. Probably wheat, fallow wheat. So, just like that. But that that's our first one. Um, barley is super important for making beer. Uh, is there a good place for barley? I, I don't think there was. I mean, like, behind the church...
Can I fit another field? No, it's just too small of a spot. Ha! No, I f <laughs> Barley! <laughs> just put barley in there. The smallest amount of barley. I didn't think I could make that work, but there we go. We filled it in. There we are. Okay, okay, okay. We're up to eight families. We still have room. So don't need any more living space. It barley fits. Oh, that's that's a joke and a half right there. I like that one. <laughs> you harvested a single barrel. <laughs> For those who didn't know, barley is plural. Barrel is individual. Ah, Casca! How you doing, bud? How's life? Oh, man, Casca. I gotta go to System Bullet because I really want more of that Battle Swan beer you bought. That was my favorite. That was good stuff. Battle Swan! 64%. Okay, okay, yeah, things are still good. Monoculture fields, are you able to crop rotate? So when you go into the um, the UI here, you can, if you turn crop rotation off, they just keep planting. If you turn crop rotation on, it's a three year cycle and it, you can leave it fallow. And every year, this will keep going down. So it's a good idea to cycle them or leave it fallow. And I haven't figured out how to do it yet, but you can also um, use fallow fields as like livestock pens so that they'll poop in it. And the poop is good. <laughs> it's a good thing. 24 people. That makes me happy. Yeah, the ch <laughs> who knew church makes people happy in medieval times. All right. One of these extra families is going to get assigned to the storehouse too. So there's someone always working there. And you can already see that the the one family assigned here is starting to at least turn over the fields. Um, you can unlock something that allows them to use oxen. Any need in the game to deal with people poop? Not yet. Nine families. Not yet, but I think in the future there will be because there are overlays for like smells and things like that. So it seems to me like that would be a solid possible. I think you need a lot of fertilization. Yes, but I still haven't, like, I've done that before in one of my off-screen games, and I couldn't figure out how to tell them to put the sheep in the field to poop in it. I couldn't figure that, I couldn't get that far. All right, look, we got, we got some snow. It is December. But we have enough supplies to get through the winter, so we're fine. Tan yes, tanneries are famously smelly. Smelly. It's a cool looking, it's a nice looking church. Nope, nobody works there. But we don't, we don't need um, a place to put corpses just yet. And uh, they didn't get too far with the fields, but hopefully next season we'll get a crop in. And we still have we still have room for one more family, so no need to continue construction just yet. I mean, we can if we want to, just so that it's there. Um, we can plan some more some more housing out. Uh, and I think what I'd want to do is probably this. Probably like bong, bong, bong. There we go, something like that. So that we can get to the back side of, of the well and whatnot. And near the church! And then, oh! People moving in, stalls are increasing too. 10 families, okay, now it is time. Uh, houses, so I think, I think now what I'd like to do is to make some houses that have um, proper backyards. 
So... Do we want to maybe just put the... Yeah, I think maybe we'll use this side first. It's not snapping to the road, though. Well, there's some room for that in there. Yeah, that could work. Although, I'd probably want this one to be more like up this hill a little bit. Yeah, that that's 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 backyardier. That's not bad. And then maybe uh, decrease the number of houses in there so the plot so that it's thicker. Yeah, so it's just three plots, but we can fit twice as many families in there, and then they have big thick backyards individually. Oh, uh, do you find out if you can name the families? Let's. You can rename the individual people, it looks like. You absolutely can rename the individual people. Which I think, I think is nifty. The way I think we should do it though, if we name, cause I don't want to rename everybody. There's already 30 fucking people here and this gets up into the hundreds pretty quickly. I feel like it needs to be like, okay, we'll name, uh, like, important people. P people that do are doing specific roles or have done something special or something like that. Like, if we could assign someone to be the priest. Which we technically can't do because anybody working at a church is a grave digger. Can you rename the town? Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh... We can rename the whole town. Um, um, yeah. Magnusville? Magnusgrad? Magniston? Magniston. Magniston. There we go. Uh, did it? Okay. It, it took. It took. There we go. Oh, wow. Those built really fast. And do we want to just keep increasing? Nah, I mean, that, that gives us room right there. Before, without having to do anything else, that gives us room right there for three more families. I don't have any money. Also, uh, so I can't, I, I, I can't buy anything yet. And that requires money. Um, so to get money, I need to upgrade the houses to level two or three. So that means we need to start trying to figure out what we need to do to get the houses upgraded. Because that also gets me my next development points. So they're missing clothing. I could fix that. Because we have leathers from hunting. So this should be easy. So we'll make a tannery. And even though it doesn't actually impact anything at all, I think I will say, hey, why don't we put the tannery like back up on this hill with the hunter still it's not that far away but you know let's put him back here i was gonna uproot some trees if i do that though this is cool i like how this is in a like, little valley here maybe out by the farmhouse where where, where it smells of poop uh, it's right there that'll do Okay, so we'll get the tannery up, and that will give us the option to upgrade the houses, which will get us some taxes, which mean which I'll have some means I'll be able to do some things. I love how there's just like monk chanting going on. A new <laughs> hey. Welcome to my abode, rubes. So we'll assign someone to be the tanner. Maybe we'll name the tanner because this is going to be the smelliest person in the village thus far.
All right, that's up and running. Earhart, Bartholmes, and Endelm. End Endleen. All right, show workplace, reassign. So you, because you're the actual Tanner, will be... Oh no, they stole my leather! Immediately! Snout. There we go. But that does, is that a, yeah, okay. Clothing stall has immediately been built. So we just kind of need to, I mean, they stole my first leathers. So, so maybe we need to wait a little bit more until it gets distributed. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where is this in relation to my house? Oh, it's nowhere near my house. All right, never mind. I was like, it's right next to me. No, it's not right next to me. Oh, you know what's super cool that I thought was awesome? Watch this. The world map updates based on your construction, which I think just looks super cool. It's a really nice aesthetic. All right. All right. So upgrade to level two. And we, I think we need two of these. Requirements not met, clothing stall. Another rule. Whoa, 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 whoa. Receive reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby lands. Track their movement. Oh, 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 that's about a few. Oh! Twice as many men as I have population. <laughs> so thankfully they're right not right next to me. They look slightly competent, more slightly than me. So I do I need more living space. Um Okay, they're working they're working on that. Construction is being worked on. I need I need meat shields. Um, who wants to come live here? Thinking, um, like vegetable gardens. Nice, big, thick vegetable gardens. Four more big plots. I don't like jamming it in the house. It's too, too tight. Yeah, yeah, new. I, I just need people to move in so that I have, I have meat to throw at that army. Gifts are not working, as is tradition. They almost never do. I don't even know. I don't know why I bother anymore. They never work right. Let me restart the fucking thing. Getting fewer backyards. Yes, but the size matters. And you you pay, you pay once per backyard, so one big backyard is more efficient than several small ones. All right, let's try this again. Of course not. Why why would the gifts ever work correctly? <laughs> Seriously, I don't know why I fucking bother. Watch the work on my phone. Connection timed out. You are disconnected. Let's go, go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> go, go fuck yourself. All right, but we have a level two house now, which you could clearly see is nicer than the uh, the level ones. Better roof, a little larger. Uh, you don't have clothing. You have clothing, so we can do you. There we are. Because I only need two. I only need two level two houses. And the level twos and aboves pay, pay ta ta taxes or increase region wealth. 
Not taxes. Region wealth. So they will help me out. 15. We're building... F okay, this is good. This is good. Yeah, we got some shingles. It's a good thing. Upgrade. Upgrade. K kind of in the position right now where I'm just like, yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep upgrading. Shameful display! Shameful display! And I just got... Okay, I got my development point. So we went for trapping. Advance doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers from... Uh, hunters and butchers from goat pens. That one's good. So the rye cultivation might be important here. Because we're going to need that for food. Chance skinning just seems so useful. Uh, pelt extraction. Hunters also uh, collect hides from traps. Oh god, we've. Uh, it's like we've. It's like I want to go this way, but we're already. We've already got trapping. Let's go. So we really like meat. Yes, we really like meat. In for a penny, in for a pound. This is the jam. Okay, these guys look more killable. All right, they're, they're not they're not in my land though, so I'm not as concerned. And like my my army, I got I got 20 pokers. I got 20 guys. Uh do I need more planks? I'm pretty good there. This this medieval dude is kind of jamming right now. This just it's good. <laughs> All right, we're making progress. So I need five for my next point. So do, how many do we? We have three. That's four. This one is too far away from the things to get anything, it seems. Uh, what are we? We're low on food right now, but we did just double the amount of meat we have coming in from here. And uh, we can reassign a family to work out here. Also, let's give a second, now that it's uh, spring, let's give a second family over to the wheat field. Will it be cavalry later? I don't know. Have you had a chance to buy mercs in my previous game? No. I have not done that yet. Nice. I'm... Uh, oh, I, I'm running out of low-level plots as well. So we need more poor people. Okay, let's just... Uh, let's do this. You know what we're gonna do? Uh, we're just gonna build some real small plots right here. Three more small ones, just cram, cram them on in there. I like that. Is it good? I honestly think this game's really good. I think it's, I think it's quite good. I'm thoroughly enjoying my time. Where's worth if you can afford the cost? Archers are fantastic. Oh, right now I'm poor as shit. So no, I'm not. I'm not afforded anything just yet. And we need definitely need our our food production. Of Ew. Seriously, this is great. Uh, maybe we put in the because food right now is kind of my main concern. So maybe we do the 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 apiary for honey. Because if we want to get to rye cultivation, which isn't a bad... That's two points, because we need to do the apples first, which are expensive. The source of money at the moment. So, like, like I don't personally have any money. You basically spend the town's collective wealth. That's kind of how it works. Recommend charcoal pit for fuel efficiency, too. 
Well, that's this one. I haven't actually done that one before. So why don't we do why don't we try that one out? And then would that be industry? Mining? Gathering? Oh, it's gathering. Maybe we um Maybe we put this up behind, well, we, we don't want to use up too much of this land. So maybe we put the charcoal pit down this way. There we go. And people continue to move in. Okay, so for the next, for the next uh, level up as well, we need to get to level three. Heavy plow increase is good for large scale. Well, the thing is, is, we're not really doing large scale farming. There's not a lot of like usable farmland here. Yeah, but look at this. It's my burly. It's my burly field. Okay, so now what we do is we put one here. Converts firewood into charcoal, so there's that. And our food stocks and our firewood stocks are going up. All good things. And we have 20 bucks. So is that enough to, it's 15 for a vegetable garden. So I think maybe back here we'll put in a vegetable garden. And that's, the, and this is the why the size of the backyard plots matter. It's because you pay for the plot, no matter if the plot's this big or the plot's that big. So if you have a huge plot, you're still paying the same amount for like more stuff. So that's always a good thing. So now we have a fairly, I mean, that's like a medium sized field, but now we have some veg coming in. Uh, and can we, we can get more people living here if we want to as well. So let's do that. So we have more people to work the veg. And the more level two houses we can get, the more regional wealth we have coming in. So now we've got the charcoal burner. Someone is working it. There we go. The market's getting a little bigger. Just out of curiosity, can we upgrade this one? Uh, no, it needs more. It needs more food types. Uh, why can't I see that right now? Uh, I guess we could check the granary, which only has some berries in it. Okay, okay. Are we not, uh, we, maybe we're just eating the meat really fast. And I mean, we will have, we will have wheat soon. Change the, the sound of the bell. <laughs> gonna go with that one. Not the last one, though. That didn't sound too good. Oh, look at all those logs. So why isn't it showing me my food situation over here now? It, this this up, UI like up to, currently showing surplus goods by default. Currently total goods stored, but it doesn't change when I click this. Close. The, oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, so we have four meat, 152 berries, and some eggs. And we will have veg coming in soon. And uh, we, we're, we're gonna have, oh, zero! Is it too small to get a single barrel out of it, unfortunately? It might be too small of a field to get even one barrel. But I mean, we will get some, although the this field says zero too. Maybe I need to wait. Oh yeah, there, oh, one. I probably need to wait a little bit. Okay, all right, all right, tight, 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 tight. So we've got seven level two families now, but we need a level two or higher five. Oh, it's, we need the individual plots to be upgraded. And what do we need to get to three is the question. So if we go to like the one we upgraded over here, we need, okay, that's where we need 
booze. We need booze, we need another food, and more food types, and more clothing types, okay. Alright. Well, yeah, we are going to have that coming in soon. So I think what we'll do is let's, um, I, let's do something here. Check the fields. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to draw out some more fields so that we know where we want them. And, uh, and then that way we're not going to be wasting a lot of space. Or maybe we start, like, um, over here. And it'll go right to the edge here. Yeah. This is... Now, now we're talking about a lot of fucking crop. But I just wanted to get it kind of laid out. That's way too much for just, like, two families to work. But... Uh, what we can always do is leave it fallow for a while, and then wheat, fallow, wheat. Actually, this one would have been good for barley, or better. It's still, the numbers are really low. The numbers are really low, but it's the best spot I've got. Love the way the plot's built. It looks so natural! Like, we've got this... Look, look, look at this from the ground level. We've got this, like... Big pasture... Or big farmland in the, the farmhouse on the top of this hill with, like, a valley and then another hill and then a valley and then, like, a larger hill in the background. It just looks cool. And, like, the way the hedgerows fit in. Everything snaps together the way you expect it to, the way you want it to. It's awesome. Alright, um, so what we're going to need is the windmill, Just pop that in right there, and a communal oven, which maybe we'll just put down at this little crossroad here, or maybe not. Maybe we bring the oven back this way. Yeah. Eh, put it, pop it in right there. Kind of fits. There we go. So that'll get us, we have to wait for the... The, either the rye or the wheat to finish, but that'll get us some um, some bread in a little while. See ya, Silverwolf. Thanks for coming. What was the efficiency of that mill? Um, is there efficiency of mills? Oh, there is. Uh, well, it's like 90% right here, so pretty good. Planted barley now. Oh, I know. Uh, I have I have wheat and barley. I don't have access to rye yet. I will later on. I honestly didn't even notice there was an efficiency on that, but it looked like it was pretty good from from the area next to it being about ninety. You said rye. Yes, I know. I'm going to have rye. I'm I'm planning on it. All right. There's the windmill. We'll make sure one person is one family's assigned to that. Not that there's anything yet. <coughs> And we'll make sure someone's at the oven. Again, not that it's done yet, but it's coming! Do I have a barrel? We have th at least three barrels! Name the miller? We could name the miller. Hans? Overlord. Oh, I went away. All right, let's, um... <laughs> so we're at the farm here. Oh, uh, hang on. There we go. Let, let's, let's do it from down here. So, there's the church. That's my veg. Oh, that looks so cool! This is the farmhouse just over the the, the 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 hill there? There's the um, the windmill. I think this is the oven. Yeah, there's our oven. Get out of the way, pleb! Assassins. Oh, I just clipped through him. I was like, I'm an Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Check your ass. Yeah. 
There's the market and the well. Church in the background. That's my granary. Whoa! Guy with a giant ass axe coming up behind me. Name a building. I don't know if we can name the buildings. Can demolish it. No, you cannot name the... It doesn't look like you can name the individual buildings. Alright, so when is this, uh... Oh, it's got ten, only ten days. Alright, so there is gonna be some... Some, some harvesting this summer. And far away, not, not, not very close to me, so I'm not concerned. No, nope, no, nope, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Nothing to be concerned about. Like, town's growing. Uh, I also have 26 ducats now, so I can't afford to buy up a new thing now. Um, what we can do, though, is if we go to... Uh, oh, you're not level two yet. Level two guys could do more things. These are all level ones. Should we just keep upgrading a couple of these? Yeah, taxes. Because I, ne I need, or, sorry, regional wealth. <laughs> I need, I need money. Yeah, so keep, keep upgrading. Do it, yes, yes. Yes! Ha 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 ha! Alright, that's gonna take a minute. Also, it means we're gonna need more room for poor people. Alright, maybe up the hill towards the church here? Facing the other direction is what I wanna do. Maybe not that far. Yeah, like that far. Not enough goods. Oh, we don't have enough, uh... I just- I just used all my fucking timber. Okay. Down on the left it says Raiders Near. Uh... Can I- I can- they're on the- there's guys up here. They're way up there, though. That's- that- Or is that- is that the Raiders I said come and get me at, basically? I got 20 bucks, or 20 guys. How do I hire mercs? Ho! Oh, little expensive. Brotherhood of the Forest. I don't have 60 ducats, I got 30 ducats. All right. I got, I got 20, I got 20 guys. It's fine, it's fine, I got 20 guys. I can handle it. 20 guys with pointy sticks and shields. Alright. Yes. Bring me regional wealth. I need it. What is the thing? Uh, I think it's probably... Yeah, it's telling me I don't have enough equipment for all the people I have available. But what I'm, I'm thinking we do is... Here, let's... um. Let's prioritize this one that has uh, enough room for like a backyard plot. Maybe we can make a weapon smith real quick. Because these ones are too small. Ikenau is being claimed. Which is... Which one is, which one is Ikenau? It's this one. Well, that's not my monkeys, not my circus. This music, God. Fucking slaps. Come on. Hey, you're supposed to. Oh, wait, I thought I told you to work on that one. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Okay, never mind. Fuck me. You have zero ducats. Oh, I need actual wealth. I don't need just uh, trinkets that are stored up in people's 
uh, a commodes. All right, so. That's for male armor. How do I make non-male armor? Okay, this produces wooden parts and shields. How do I make a, a, a stabbing implement? Okay, this one's for stabbing. This one's for shields. I guess we start. Can I send somebody? <laughs> send someone into battle with just a shield? All right, well, we'll start with that. And then we can get, uh, we can start mining. We can do a mining pit. Oh, this one needs to be on it, okay. There we go. Hook into that road there. There we go. That number is going up. I like that. <laughs> Production focus. Artisans can sometimes produce multiple types of goods. Select which type is being produced. Click the general tab in the building panel. So that is this one. Um... Okay, you need to be upgraded as well, because I need someone to make shields, someone to make spears. Okay, so, general? Wait. Oh, it's here. Large shields, plank it up. I'm good on planks, right? I am. Jointer shop. And then you. I need. Mean, God, alp apples are so exp uh, expensive. Um. Oh, this is a small. This this one is smaller and can take um, the blacksmith. All right, cool. That way, these ones I can... Okay, here. Uh, veg and veg. Those bigger ones, I want veg in there. So we're spending on my money on seeds right now. Or my wealth. Prepare for attack. I'm working on it! Wait, what about this? High priority! I need... I need... I need iron. Right? All right, do I need to process it? Yes? Converts iron ore into iron slabs. And this 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 will live right at the edge of the forest. Yes. Trees co changing color is gorgeous. Isn't it look good? Also, did I? This has been harvested. How many? Hang on. I have bread! We have achieved bread! And eggs and berries. I have charcoal. I have four barrels! I need a, I need a, uh, 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 I need to get booze going. All right, so mining pit is done, which means we need a miner. Also, I don't think we've actually achieved any veg yet. It takes some, the apples take several years. I think the veg just needs like one good season before it starts working. So that's the blacksmith. Uh, uh, spears. Oh, <laughs> the bloomery. <laughs> oh, my bloomers. Okay, so in theory, we now have everything we need to make the equipment for my militia. I have 28. Yes, they are making shields right now. So we just need them to start. We, we need the the iron. We need the bloomer. We need the thingies. The smith and shield dude. Goats for cheese. The goats make hides. You don't milk the goats in this game. Man, every game every game needs cheese production though, am I right? All right, the jointer. All 
is going to be Jeff. Jeff the Jointer. And then if we go over to the blacksmith... How do you know how many you need? Uh, one second. Rum. Not the brewer is not named Rum. So if I hover over this, it says I my my militia is 36 people. And it says I have 20 spears and I need 36. And it says I have 31 shields and I need 36. So if you just hover over your militia there, it shows what you need. Okay, so he's got charcoal. Oh, we're just waiting for transport now, I think. So I need I need someone to to, to bloom in. Oh, there we go. That is, I guess, a a grain sack full of iron bars. Okay. Uh, and then if we go to the blacksmith. We should, we should be good. Cause we got a, we got raiders near in 75 days. Yep, there we go. Planks, iron slabs. And we have an extra militia bin now, okay. It's working, it's working. All right, tight, 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 tight. One twenty-two. All right, they are they are doing they are doing the Lord's work. And and right now we're having some graphical glitches while doing the Lord's work. Twenty-three. So it's it's gonna be a matter of how many spear can we how many spears can we get made before these raiders attack. Can't find a place for excess weapons. Really? Well, we can't make the storehouse bigger. Same here. Oh, they, oh, we need stone for that. There's plenty of stone here, though. I guess that just goes there. Here, let's um, let's do this. Goes this road will go to this hill, and then over to this. Give make it a little softer curve. Oh, I didn't mean to give it that little nub, but there we go. Look at DMs real quick. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Uh, could have been worse. <laughs> Alright, so that'll get us stone. Look at that. 50. Wait, did did I what did I buy? Okay, no, I went I went all in on the meat, is what I did. Okay. I was like, do I do I know how to do I know how to uh, uh, apple? No, not yet. All right, cool. Tight, 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 tight. All right, so we're we're building this up, and we what we really need is booze. So next season, because to get to the level three houses, we need booze. So I, what I need to do is figure out which. Of these crops will get me so that one's set to barley at 19% efficiency. That one would be terrible. What was this one? This one. Uh Ugh. So I guess I guess I guess. Mr. Alright, well Mr. we need we need the barrel. Need to upgrade the church. Uh, I probably will, but right now I don't have the stuff for it. So I think I'm just going to try to save up some barrel. For now. Still good for six months. 
a little low on fuel, but that's it. I mean, I could always just um, put another family on the charcoal kiln. Stonecutter's camp is done. Put a family down over there. And I think I do need some more living, living space. I'm also down to one free family at the moment. But what we can do is um, take the family off of the herbalist hunt for now to give them a little free spot. What is upgrading the church help with? Uh, I, I think the people will be happier, and I think the church positive radius of people that are happy about church stuff is bigger. Uh, uh, and I guess you could employ more corpse diggers. You know, if, if you got if you got a lot of corpses. All right, army thirty. Hey, we're gonna max this out before the raiders get here. I think thirty three of thirty six. That's excellent. That's good. And next season, we're going to have a lot of veg. Because we got three good-sized veg, veg plots. Every time the church bell rings, I was like, is that... Is that, is that bad? <laughs> no, it's just church. I'm going to add an herb garden, too. Uh, I can afford the herb garden back here. We'll do that in the summer, though, when things are growing. Or in the spring, that is. Alright, so now we got the large storehouse. And if I want to, I could start... Building in more of these, um... Oh, did I just hit the wrong... That one... I upgraded... I meant to do that. <laughs> and let's, uh, put in some more plots. I was planning on doing that before, and then got distracted. So, what's starting to confuse me here is, normally when you do this, it snaps to the road. Like that. But it's not snapping to the road, which, like, it should. Like, if I do it this way? Yeah. Ooh, ooze. If I do it this way, it snaps to the road. But if I do it this way, it doesn't. So, I'm gonna have to do this... Non-optimally. Because the way it works is whichever two points were the first ones, it's which which way it wants to be facing. So what well so right now it's saying, oh, you want one big one facing the other houses. Nay. Nay. What I want. So we'll do this, and then is it this one? Yes, rotate. There we go. Can do one huge one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, we go. there you go. And then do this one. Alright, there we go. There we go. Yeah. You if you pull the curtain aside, there'll be more airflow. Yeah, so I think that was just a little bug there, but a workaround. What I think is kind of funny about that situation, too, is he was actually laughing about it. It's funny. I was like, it's hey, funny. things have had, like, thankfully I missed it, but I was like, oh, people have done worse. All right. So we've got, we got a max size militia available now. So hopefully, hopefully we could beat them right off. Enemy has been sighted! Okay. Wait, they're way over there! Do I go over there? Do I go- do I have to walk all the way over here to beat them? Okay, so... I don't- let's just keep an eye on them. See where they go. Cause if they come- if- if- if, if they come for me, I'm gonna have to beat them off. I don't know what I said. <laughs> Cause they are they kinda make it a beeline. Uh yeah, no, that's not that's not near me. So what I think what we do is we wait for him to get closer to me and then and then we'll go deal with it. 
Because as it stands right now, we're fine. I feel like these houses that are, are kind of building up the road towards the church probably maybe a little nicer. Maybe these ones get upgraded a little bit more. We have plenty of houses now. And we do have, um, uh, we have plenty of level two houses, that is. 13 of seven. And we do have a nice wealth amount coming in now. So, oh, and the, the, the snow is melting. So, vegetable, vegetable, vegetable. That's my jointer. That's my blacksmith. Uh, those are too small. Too small. Too small. This one's got a chicken coop. Okay, you've got, you've got but chickened. Small, 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 small. And then these ones are all pretty big over here. Alright, cool, cool. Sell excess weapons. <laughs> There's no such thing as excess weapons. <laughs> Just more! Alright, um, how are we doing on resources? No planks. I think all the planks are getting used up, like, immediately. Oh, also, the logging camp, uh, is really far away from trees at this point. So, I think what we'll do is... Uh, put in the forester's hut down over here. Maybe, maybe at this intersection. Yeah, like right here. There we go. And then I think what I'll also do is, because you are allowed to move this, you have to repay for it. But I think I'll move this down this way more. There we go. Goats give me hides. Uh, I am going to need a brewer soon. So that's something to think about. Like these... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot. All right, they're all over me. They're throwing... That, that's a torch in the air. Fuck! How do I... Okay. Forgot about them. Um, moving your units. Select a unit with left hold uh, left to select multiple units. Command units with the right mouse button. Hold and drag just like Total War. Got it. Wait, where'd they go? Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh! Former line! Single column! Single column! We are as one! <laughs> balanced. Uh, yeah, balanced. Oh, God, we weren't ready. But we outnumber them. Two to one. I stab at thee! Oh, the standard bearer's got a sword! Bring him closer! I want to hit him with my sword! Oh man, this is chonky too, like... I'm... I'm... Okay, so I'm used to Total War battles, where as soon as the lines touch each other, everything just melts. And I like that it doesn't do that. Okay, one guy has died. There's three guys in the back that is like, Hey, you can do it! Take no prisoners! Forward! Forward push! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> to the corpse pit! No one's died on my side yet. Oh, they broke! Oh. 
so fucking cool! Alright, um... Can't win already engaged, but we're not engaged. I feel like, uh, I'm gonna need a, a, a corpse digger. Corpse is nearby. Eight. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> They're just like, okay, back to work. Next group's archer and shoot them as they come. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, I am going to need. That was cool. That was fucking cool. Um. A corpse pit. Can I, can I compost them? Just put them uh, out back. Way back here. There we go. Ugh, oh, you know what? Hang on. This bugs me. The fact that I constantly hit the make those little accidental nubs. God damn it, I did it again! There we go. There we go. I like how it's a it's a it's a family tradition. Men, women and children, everybody grab a corpse. Chubby. Chubby, you're my grave digger. Uh, let's make the forest, make sure the forester is working. And we do have, we do have some, some of my fields growing this season. That's good. Are these ones all fallow? No, this one's, oh, they're still working them. Okay. Not, not, not my monkeys. How much construction do I need to do, uh, do on a pit? Uh, something was just... Oh, do we, we... We went through all of our iron. Uh, which means uh, we can unassign this guy now. Technically, we can just destroy that. Um... Couple si couple sidearms with whatever's left. Wait for the deep mining tech. Whew. Children, you're in for the corpse hole. Damn straight. Well, other people's children. All right, logging camp's finished. So let's make sure we got somebody in there. Corpse pit is finished. Do I actually need to assign a dead body? Oh, you know what's funny? They're doing a carrying animation, but there's nothing modeled there just yet. Villagers would be car uh, buried on hollow ground of the church. Raiders would be dumped in the pit. Okay. Make some tools with the leftover iron. There we go. That doesn't seem very Christian. It is exactly very Christian. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, so... 
We still only have the four barrels. But look at the food. Meat, veg, berries, bread, eggs. That is a balanced goddamn diet. Now, uh, to upgrade the church, which I do need to do, we need clay. And I've got fuckloads of clay that we can dig. So let's uh, start doing that. Go. Tight, 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 tight. Switch the joiner off shields. Oh, yeah, he's probably making a fuckload of them. Can I just tell him to stop working? Because now he just goes forever. Is there a way to tell him to stop making anything? Because otherwise he's just slurping down my planks. Um, because right now I would like him to stop working. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. And the blacksmith too, I think. There we go. Because you guys don't need to do anything right now. Uh, how we, do we ever get someone? Yeah, we did put someone in the stone cutters. We have, we have, who controls the British crown? Who keeps the metric system down? We do. We do. Sorry, sorry. Can't say stone cutters without singing. Yeah, because we were just slurping down. Because we, okay, we have six tools. Uh, does it say I've got 61 shields and 40 extra spears as well. And six sidearms. So we got we got enough for a bunch more. We 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 could do an entire another like regiment. We brewing yet? Uh, not yet. But I have a couple barrels to spend on brew. But I I might need to buy in some. So here we might need to start trading a little bit. Like um, not livestock, but just put in a trading post. I got this little nub right here. This in the field from. Oh no, there's uh, supplies stuck in there. Um, yeah, I can just go down this way. Yes, Manor Lords, and it is a sick game. Very good game. It is a very good game. Oh, we got we got a jam coming on again. Oh, and uh, I I will hire in someone here. Oh, and I don't have any planks. Why am I constantly out of planks? What are we doing with them? I have logs. Where 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 where's my planks always going? There's the saw pit. There's no logs inside. Um, I think it's I think it's a transportation issue at the moment. Yeah, I think I think just all the construction going on right now is slowing down the movement of things. Um, maybe some more oxen would be useful. Because we can't afford to buy in some more. Another hitching post. And we'll put it down over this way, maybe. Let's do that. God, such a fucking good game. It's like, it's like, this is... What, what, what I think is so funny is we've had such, like, a drought of, like great games for so long, I feel. And then it's like, oh, fucking Baldur's Gate, Hell Divers, Manor Lords, poo poo poo, tens out of tens. Left, right, and center. All right, let's immediately upgrade this too before we do anything else. It looks like it's, it, it, it does have a Banished feel, but it is much more of a polished game than Banished. 
Banished was good, but Banished was rough around the edges. All right, uh, order in two oxen. Oh, I have to wait. All right, but there we go. All right, planks, planks are planking. Alright, so to upgrade the church, we need roof tiles. Uh, we have the mining pit here. We'll assign a miner to the clay pit. And then we need to make a furnace. A clay furnace. I'm just going to put on the other side of the forest over here. Uh, and then herb field. There we go. There we go. Now we now we can get some... We, we, we've got, we, we've got a, an herbalist out in the woods where we get our supply. Wheat fields. These are getting planted. Uh, honestly, we could use, with this many fields, we could use another family in here, so we'll send some more out. Uh, so the trader should be by soon to deliver my oxen. There we go. Kingdom Come 2 coming is also great. Well, we think it's Kingdom Come 2. I, I'm I'm on the fence whether I think it's Kingdom Come 2 or I think they're going to go it's not going to be a series of games we're going to take the tech and make a new a new game it is oh did they announce I thought it wasn't announced for another couple days did they actually announce it hang on hang on I'm looking Oh, it was leaked. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Eh, well, Kingdom Come is cool. I uh, on so so my opinion in Kingdom Come was it was a little too jank for my personal taste, but I understand why everybody loved it. I had I I have a tendency to run into more bugs than the average bear. So it was it, it was borderline unplayable for me, but I fully understand what people liked about it. All right, cool, tight, 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 tight. Uh, all right, I've got an oxen. Is there a benefit of a horse over another uh, over an oxen? I'm just gonna order the oxen because I don't know what the difference is. Well, mechanically, I don't know what the difference is. So we are going to need a brewer. So I am going to start upgrading these houses that I put over here because they are going to definitely be fancy pants houses. Saw another streamer get killed by dismounting their horse the other day, so the chank is still there. So the, my first experience with Kingdom Come was that um, uh, there was, there was a, an early mission where you need to like dig up a buried object or something like that out of someone's backyard. And the issue I ran into, uh, double up families on this too, um, was that like there was a bug with the activation range um, for the object you needed to interact with. So like in a normal game, you would walk within, I don't know, two meters of the, uh, the item that you need to act interact with and it would show up on the screen and you click the button to interact with it. But there was a bug where you basically needed to be rubbing your nose on the object for it to for the activator to appear so i spent hours scouring the fucking town trying to figure out where to go looking up like stuff online uh to, to figure out where to go and we were like just go to this guy's backyard it's right there i go to the backyard and walk around and it wouldn't fucking work and then i found like a buried forum post with like one upvote on it where someone was like there was a bug i needed to crawl on my face so the only way for me to get close enough to activate the thing was to go face first crawling onto the ground and rub my face onto the spot. And that was the only way I could get close enough with it to hit the button to activate the thing to like dig up the thing. And I was like, ah, oh, I spent like three hours of my life <laughs> trying to figure this out. It was frustrating. All right, so that's my joiner, my blacksmith. You don't have a big enough plot. These guys don't have big enough plots, but these ones are going to get other uh, things assigned to them. It's named the check register of public uh, contracts because there's a contract with the city of 
uh, Kutenberg and Warhorse about filming and using city property. Oh, that's cool. The town is really starting to come together, too. I kind of like having these trees. Like, it's... Uh, oh, they're kind of like sapling. Then they're all going to get cut down soon. Um, how are we doing on, like, leathers? So much leather. So much leather. Okay. So I was like, do we need, like, some goats? But we don't really need goats because we get so much leather from the hunter. Uh, I do need someone assigned to be uh, in the clay furnace. There we go. Look at this little guy. Look at this little town. It's looking so good. Very happy. Really think there should be an option to play Iron Man while having uh, it normally saveable. Oh, for Kingdom Come. Yeah, I remember. It was like you had to have some, like, save potion or something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, I, I, had, I had a lot of gripes with it, but I understood perfectly why people like it. Is there a leather worker to make some more armor? There is a leather worker to make more types of clothes and boots and stuff like that. So we're going to end up doing that, definitely. So, like, this guy, not this one. You're just going to get expanded living space. You'll get expanded living space as well. Yeah, all these could have expanded living space, actually. But we're, this is going to be some artisans right here. A save potion that made you drunk to prevent save scumming skill checks. I remember that game came out and there were so many streamers that were, um, you know, playing in costume and stuff like that. It was cool. Another armor was sighted. That's 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 about a few, but again, not my monkeys. Not my monkeys. Oh, we got planks now too. All right. Good amount of money coming in, which makes me happy. It means it means I got a little wiggle room. Alright, these guys are upgrading. Let's get that one. You. So, I think what we're gonna do is... Uh, clothes and cloaks and gambesons! Oh, you make gambesons as well. Uh, I, I think we deserve some shoes. We're gonna cobble the shit out of some things. Oh, I was like... How, how do I not have enough room? It's because they just harvested my barrel. I got some wheat and I got some barrel. Set up my trades, yes. Okay, so... Order a new horse. Alright, well, we gotta have someone assigned here. Permanent livestock, assignment, trade. Okay, so... No trade, route required. So these already have routes, it looks like. So I can I can tell them to start selling some stuff. I don't want to sell. If anything, I'd want to buy in barley because that's hard for me to get. Um, the leather is worth a lot, and we have a lot of that. Some of the weapons are not as w worth as much as I expected, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, we can, I don't know if I want to sell any leather though. You know what we could sell? Uh, we have fuck loads of clay coming in. There's thousands of clay. Can I sell the tiles? That we make? If once we, maybe we need to wait till we actually make them. Oh no, here they are right here. I need to, okay, I have to pay to establish that route. And then absolutely I could sell them. So I will establish that trade. I will I will pay for the trade route. And I will export. So how does this work? Current surplus desired. Okay, so I can export above a certain amount. So let's say I want to keep 30 in stock. And then we can sell above that. Okay, so you're all set. You're set. You're under construction. Oh, I thought I thought this had enough. Oh, maybe the house took up the space I was going to put into there. Well, in that case, expand the living space. 
I was gonna use um, um, put some artisans in there, but I think I used the space for the the living living area. But that's okay. There's plenty of room over here. Here, let's um, uh, let's do some more residential, and we can we can keep the houses going. Although it, it's it's doing that thing where it doesn't snap to the road. Okay, that's okay. That. The, like the straight road it snapped to perfectly fine. Interesting. So I think we'll go out. And then up like this. And then what I have to do is. Here, can we, um. Can we do kind of a. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work there. That works. And I think four is fine. Or we can make we can make them bigger. I kinda like not cramming them in too tight. That's not even that tight. And we'll do three though. Like if we wanted to do some more some more tighter spots. We can do that like right up to here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do three tight ones right there. Here already. Hey, How's Toby. Going? going very well. I'm loving this game. I'm having a blast playing it. We murdered a bunch of people. It's great. How much barrel do I got now, by the way? I got ten barrels, which is not a lot, but it's something. It's enough to prime the drunk pump. Because yeah, we need more families moving in. We're up to about a hundred people, which is great. But I would like, if for this many fields, I would like some more people working. And we are making good progress. Um, we're not we're not quite there, um, getting up to level three yet. We need to upgrade the church and we need the tavern, but we're working on both of that. That's why I'm saving up the barrel. I don't want to use any of it. And uh, we can't upgrade the church. Okay, so there's a bug with the church right now. The key to upgrading the church is to... F Let's see if the bug is still there. Let's wait. We'll see if the bug is still there. What army did you go with? Just spearmen. Just went with, uh, with a regiment of spearmen. You know, horse to run the trade route? I don't think so. I think it works without an animal. I don't think it works as efficiently. But I also don't have enough to sell yet. Because I told him to sell above 30. We don't want him to, uh, to, do, to do more than that just yet. Medi it's medieval music. Get, I don't know what it is. It fucking gets me going. Cool little town. I, I love that the mar that I kind of grew around the marketplace. I think that's cool looking. Especially when you get down to to town level. Here, let's uh let's go to Oh yeah, there we go. So I'm in the marketplace. Farms on that hill over there. Church is up here. Hello, oxen. Oh, you had a nice corpse you got there. We've got more houses building up the road here around the corner. There's a foundation right there. There's a reason you think. Uh, I went with spearmen because to me it seemed like it would be the easiest to field like a full regiment of. I don't know why spears like generally speaking a spear like like IRL a spear is really easy to make compared to like a sword or a halberd or something like that it's just simple so in my mind I was like it'll be easier to get enough weapons to make this work <laughs> but there's the, the the cheapo houses just went up a oh, cheapo houses it's just the smaller plots and these ones are already up as well Okay, so the bug that I found with the church was that while the- Yes! Okay. I'm so- Okay, I just saw it. Okay, let's make sure this is set to- 
I, I think I think we can muscle past it though. So while there's a grave digger assigned to it, he will take stones out of the stockpile. Which was a problem and I saw it go down a couple times. Or I think I think maybe he takes anything out. Oh yeah, it just went down. But now while it's under construction, I also can't unassign it. So we just you just need to get in materials as fast as possible before you can try to steal them out. But construction started. That's good. Yeah, he's stealing stone out of out of there. Another clothing stall just went up. And people are moving in. So it should be fine if I have enough people to haul resources. Because they should be able to get him in there before uh, he causes too much of a problem. Because once they're done with the roof tiles, then they'll carry all carry stones. Yeah, still still bugged, but I think we can work past it. Uh, stone. We have a lot of stone, right? Yeah, got plenty of stone. It might actually make it a little easier for us too. Is if we have a road connect up over here around the churchyard. So yeah, now they've now we're stuck at 13 of 20 stones. But if I put in a road there. Yeah, this is this is the bug I ran into before. And uh, this is how I fixed it before, by just having a, a, a really, a real easy route to get from the stone to the church. So now we're up to 18. I got stuck at 18 before. It was 18, 17, 18, 17, 18, 17, 20! Oh, 18. You fuck! So I need 19. Come on, guys, we can do it. Like, there's like one tiny little bit that needs to be completed. Alright, uh, I'm gonna assign some of these people to some more work. Because I can't un- what if I pause the building? Does that pause construction? Or just pause the guy in the building? Ah, I think it just pauses the guy in the building. Okay, that's the e that's the easier workaround there. Just tell the grave digger to fuck off for a bit. That seems to be the easiest workaround. Although, well, that did that pause construction as well? Because now nobody's working it. Go, 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 go! Quickly before he steals something. Yes. <laughs> All right, we have achieved church. Small stone church. Bing, bong. All right, um, these don't have room for anything, so I think what we're gonna end up doing is this one over here. Uh, these, these are gonna need to get upgraded so that we can put in more interesting things in them. Do, do, do. And then we're definitely going to need a brewer over there, which means we also need to start processing our barrel. So we're going to need the tavern. Uh, oof. I'm running out of kind of centrally located bits. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is put a crosswalk in, back, like, behind these houses. Yes. And then I think what we'll do is we'll put the tavern back here. There we go. Also, 117 people. I got 400 wealth, too. Fucking rolling in it. Well, from my point of view. Uh, also, did a lot of that come from selling, maybe? Yeah, because now we're over. We may have so we may have actually sold a bunch, and that's where some of that came from. Mm. Eight bucks. 
tight, 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 tight. Uh, I might pause planks for a bit because the timbers are low. Um, and it definitely looks like our forester is doing a pretty good job. Or we just put in another forester or another one of these guys and I'll put in another one of those guys. There we go. How do you make private money? I haven't figured that out yet. I don't think I've gotten far enough into the game to have personal wealth. All right. So you are going to be my brewer. You are going to be my bower. You are going to be... A tailor. Because I built a cobbler, I think. So I'll do... I'll do a tailor. Alright, alright. Tight, tight. Tight, 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 tight. Okay, no, not my monkeys, not my circus. I need a manor. Okay, so that was in here. Uh, settle. So I just need to upgrade more. That's okay. I can I can manage that. We're we're working on getting to the next level right now. What? Stole one leather. Fucks. Because everybody should be plenty. Yeah, we need. Some of them are saying they need better food supply. Um, but I've got I got meat, I got veg, I got bread, I got berries, I got eggs. Got a lot of stuff. We could do maybe more eggs and veg. That's always an option. So I've got some places I could do that. So this is a huge one. So why don't we? Veg, and then on these ones we'll do more eggs. That's good. Another market spot for food. Um, we still have th three free stall locations. Oh, beam! I he said another beam coming up. I thought I thought he said bean, and I was like. What are we talking about? <laughs> so that's the boozery. This is the bowery. But we could put it in another marketplace. It's easy. We could easily do that. Because this one's close to being filled. Roof tiles. Could use just more timber, honestly. Like, the food is a little low, but I did just put in a bunch more. Mmm. Malt house, you're right. Also, we need a tavern keeper. Let's see. That's CJ. Almost spilled my booze. There we go. And we need the malt house. Which is this one. I mean, do we want to just put that- we could just put that right next to the fucking... We just put that right there. Although, I am- again, I need- I need more families. I need- I need more people to- to thieve from. Well, look at this. This is- this is going great. We got the chicken coops, we got more veg. I can put more houses in over here, methinks. Although, maybe we want to avoid... Uh, uh, defoliating some of this area too much. So maybe we could put on another... Oh, see, that time it snapped to the, to the road. Seems like if the curve is too much, it doesn't like to snap right. I think these could be fairly small. Because th this, like, at this point, we just want to cram people in here. So we'll just put in a bunch of houses there. Yeah, that's fine. On the hill behind the church there. I love those vegetables, the way those vegetable gardens look when you're at ground level, because they go up the slope of the hill there. Alright, the malt house is done. Yeah, I just need more people right now to move in. 
Uh, we only got... So, I think part of the problem is, is I haven't really been increasing food production, but I've been greatly increasing the population. So, that's probably why this number's been going down. Uh, but we do have a lot of crops being worked at the moment. So, that's good. And it's spring. Do the herb garden? Yes, I did. I did do the herb garden. Someone is working there, right? Yes. There we go. Uh, but I did, I did just increase food production with, with this, this, and this. So there is that, too. I gotta always make some giant vegetable patches. That is always an option. Okay. Now we have some right there. So, in theory, we should be able to start upgrading soon, because... A lot of, because we are producing, now that the malt house is there, we should start turning our barrel into beer. We've got 12 barrels. That's 800 stone. Just gotta sit on that for a while, I think. And he is working. Oh, and it should go then go to the brewer. That's good. All right, these little houses are being built over here. Sheep or a pig farm? Uh, I don't think there are any pi pigs, right? And the sheep, I think, only provide wool. Isn't a bad thing, but... Are there pigs? I don't remember seeing pigs. We could put in the livestock trading post and see. Which is where? Yeah, where is it? Um, cosmetic, admin, trade, livestock trading post. Put that in over here. With the other trading post. What the bada bum? Yeah, so the next best spot for a farm is kind of over here, or over there, or over there. Right now, the big this is the big farm. Right, well, we got more people moving in, which is what we needed. And beer is being distributed to the people. So let's start upgrading. Oh, food, food stall supply. So they're saying they don't have enough. We still have three food locations. We have one, two, three, four. We have five different types of food. They're saying, maybe they're saying they don't have enough access to enough stalls. Oh, but right here, we can do this one right here. Four. Hey, that's gonna be my first level three. That's another level three. That's another level three. That's what I need, right? Yeah. Okay, that'll give me my next level right there. So those guys got their booze. So these three right here will go up. Makes sense, they're right in the middle of town. Look at that. It's looking nice. Music is good, isn't it? I'm glad I decided to stream the game today. I'm having a blast. Hundred and twenty nine people. We have room for fifty three families. I think these houses actually hold more people, too, because they're, like, more space in them. Look how cool they look. Oh, none of them are complete yet, but look how cool they look. There we go, that's our first one. Yep, yeah, and immediately more people started moving in. So let's, um... Oh, look at that. Just the fact that it's that much taller is super cool. And then there's the marketplace, some, my, not, some more nice houses, and the church off in the distance there. <laughs> Sweet! Everything's coming up, Millhouse! Okay, so that one's done. 
This one is just waiting on some logs. Boom! Alright. So. I'm thinking trying to get to rye might be the right idea. The rye cultivation, which means going through orchardy to get the apples, which would also be another source of food for us. Honey? Oh, we could do honey as well. Deep mining. Um, that's... That's here. So right now, I'm more concerned about food. Because we've only got a small supply. So I'm thinking maybe a couple really large orchards might not be a half bad idea. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to try to get to rye. That'll give... Because... I'm, I'm thinking some, some big-ass orchards is the way to go here. Okay. So, boom, boom. And then what we'll do is we'll go like this. Rotate it so it faces the road. And then reduce this down to like, maybe just two individual plots that have really big orchards. Maybe on the other side as well. Should be able to build a manor now. Uh, required settlement, small village. Do I need to go... Is a village bigger than a town? Because <laughs> if that if that's the case, I might need to go up a couple more. Because right now I'm a town. Wait. Oh, I can build it right now. The lock is telling me I need to be at that. I thought the lock would go away. I so I could have built this. Okay. Okay. Do I put my I, maybe I maybe I build my manor across from the orchards above the church even yes Could have built it ages ago. Yeah, the UI threw me off there Or we can come over here that's right next to the the hitching spot though Hmm. Next to the tavern. Feel like that that crams me in there across the street from the tavern though. That's kind of a spot. But people are saying I need more room around it. So maybe um maybe down the road here a little bit. Cause I, I'm, cause we kind of feel, I feel like we're leaning this way a little bit anyway. So maybe down this road over here. Oh, ooh, top, top of the hill overlooking the road. Like right over here. Oh, welcome to the castle planner. I've not done this before. Uh, so the UI threw me off. I thought that lock was saying I couldn't do it. It's saying you can't do it until you get to this level, and I thought when I got to that level, that part of the UI would clear out. Uh, you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is also fixed. Okay. Um, walls and gates. Towers. Garrison towers. Tax office. Oh, wait, so it... Okay, add point, remove point, adjust curvature, wall editing, building... Okay, it's all the same as before. So can I only build it in this radii, then? Should I just start with... With my house and the tax office? 
The tax office is cosmetic only. Oh. Can we, should we just commit to this right now then? And get it and get that and then get that going. We'll get that going. I don't live next to the plebs. Speaking of plebs, build me an apple orchard worthy of Mordor. Now those are gonna be some some epic apples. All right, so apples, fifty ducats for the apples, but I can afford. Apple me, bitch. Ho ho ho, yeah. That's about a few saplings. Uh, and then we'll bring we'll bring in the expanded living space here as well, because those are big plots. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. All right. So the next one I need is is many many more level threes, which requires more tavern space, or I, I need more barrel. Is what I need. Uh, should I buy? I can't afford it. Can I? Can I buy in the booze? Um. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we wait? The bar. Wow, that's expensive. Uh, just import the barley. And I would like to have a surplus of five. There we go. Another stall one. How, how is this? How is the marketplace looking now? Is it full? It's still not full. Still got one spot. People are moving into the big houses too. So it doesn't look like much now, but in a couple of years, there are going to be some sexy apples. Believe you me. We've got 50 something. Okay, I think we can lay off the war bowl, bowls. Um, pause the Fletcher's workshop for a little while. We got plenty of that. Um, what 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 is a tailor making? Right now, nothing. I need dyes to make the uh, anything but a gambeson. And I need linen, which I don't have. But this is yarn. Yarn would come from sheep. Linen comes from flax, I think. And then dyes. Right? You got a lot of shoes. Um. Maybe maybe we need to start up a a sheep farm. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Click on the taxes tab after selecting your manor and set levels of taxation. Taxes can boost your treasury and influence. Okay, well, I think for now what we're just going to do is set a very small land tax. I think for now that's fine. Dives, I think the dives are made from the herbalist. Peasants starving yet? Not yet. Um, we're a little low on food and fuel, but they're not starving yet. Try to get more charcoal coming in. All right. So... There's that. It's kind of sad looking. Can I upgrade it? So I have to do it through the castle planner. Also, maybe we should, um... Oh, I've got a personal retinue? Fuck me. Uh, archer militia. And we'll set up an archer militia as well. Which we can, um, we immediately have enough. I mean, they don't have any armor, but they have bows. Fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I think I'm gonna select the castle planner. Um, did that upgrade it, or is that... 
Is that just building the other stuff? Cosmetic only under rework. Provides 10 garrison spaghetti as villagers shoot projectiles. And I really thought the radius in which I could build would be larger. Towers. Um, so if we build a tower... Then it'll face this way. Oh, look at that! Okay, okay, okay. And then face this way. Ah! What about walls? Walls and gates. Can I then... So for now, I think we'll just do that. It's a lot of planks. Oh, that is a lot. Of, that is about a few. Here, maybe maybe we'll just uh, start with the towers. Start with the towers. Oh, I thought there was a road bit to connect to. Maybe not. Start with the towers. Here, maybe we should, um... We'll build a, uh... A marketplace. Should there be a marketplace on the inside of my little wall spot? I'm thinking maybe. <laughs> Screen of drawing the gate show up. It was cute as shit. Oh, some policies available. How does that work? All right. Um, wild animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yields from crops. I don't think I have rich deposits. Strict fasting. Citizens can skip every fifth meal. Reduced food consumption. Decreased approval. Okay, so it's just one or the other. Oh, it's all locked too. So that's all I could do is one of these. 50%. So do we just do strict fasting then? Decrease of fuck it. Strict fasting. How, how sad could they possibly be about skipping every fifth meal? All right. Yeah, we're going to we're going to put our we get our little things built and see how this works. So theoretically, could I build ring a, a ring of towers around the entire thing and then put a wall around the whole thing? Oh, so the tavern still got beer, so. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Level three. You need yeah, I think we might need. The food stalls seem to be lacking. Like, we have food. Where is it, though? Wait. Surplus. Okay, so I think it's already in a lot of people's houses. Army's big enough to take over another area. We might do that soon. Okay, okay. So that makes that makes a lot of sense. We have the food, but it's already like divvied up amongst a lot of people. So I think we just need to increase our food production. But we did just reduce everybody's food consumption. And we do have the um the apples that'll start producing soon. But maybe maybe we put in some more vegetable gardens. Cute. So we just need two more logs. More markets for their stalls. Okay. 
So we we do need more markets marketplace. So I'm gonna put in another market uh, just over here by the tavern. And then I'm gonna put one down by my house. Because I think we'll start building some more stuff down there too. Any new crops to plant? Uh, one of, I think this area right here was good for farming. Yeah, the area behind my house is good for farming, so we might end up putting some more, some more crops down there. Also, one more point, we get rye, which, I, which is going to be way better for us in terms of food. Uh, I think we're going to need five more level three upgrades, though. These are not going to produce, uh, like, they produce slowly, if I remember correctly. But once they do start producing, that's going to be a fuckload of apples. But yeah, we could definitely do another farm, probably. So, oh, these guys got a bunch of wheat now. So let's, let's do that. Let's set up another farm. So what about my retinue? Rally. Customization. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that bitch. Oh. So these just visual presets. They have no, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, okay, and then this will be boom, boom, boom. Okay, um, oh, it's each individual man as well. That's what it is. It's each individual, so I just did one dude. Oh, no, she's not in here. Well, not that I think. I don't think so, at least. Okay. So I can just pay 18 bucks from the treasury and immediately upgrade all of them. Oh, now I can't. You can name them too. Oh, that's cool. Sunny. Now, I'm not gonna go through and do all of these right now, but that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna do another farm though. Uh, so Bring let's sure, baby, I know it. let's set up another farm. Oh, boy, boy. Ben, looks like Rimworld got quite a graphics update. And deedly do it did. Okay, so farmhouse can go down this way somewhere. And then we can just start f putting in crops over this way. We don't want them to be too crazy big. Maybe do three. There we go, and then we'll put in a farmhouse over here. Or theoretically, I think it's fine for those guys to technically work it, but I think it'd be better if we just put another farmhouse down this way. 
Not naming a person. I got a lot to do in this game that I'm trying to get through. I don't want to be bogged down for an hour modifying my personal retinue right now. Not that we won't do it at some point. Minus 48. That That's kind of what I want to see, because I, I want them buying in that that burly so that the taverns are upgrading because we want we want to see we want to be able to upgrade upgrade the thing and honestly it's food right now it's not beer it's food variety we need more food variety because like right now we don't have a lot of ex we don't have a lot of food and we're low on fuel too I really thought this would be this would be maybe we need another charcoal can kill him so that would be under gathering. So just put in a second one. Because we've got plenty of firewood, right? We got 146 firewood. We're just not processing it that quickly. So we'll do that. Build up another one of those. And we have a, a almost have our next um, level three house. Quite a population boom. Yeah, we're up to 173. Second slot in the hunting lodge. Yeah, but we're limited on the amount of animals there are because I don't want to wipe them out. So usually what you do is you you set it to go to a minimum level and then they stop hunting them so that you don't wipe out, wipe them all out. Down to two months of food. Uh, I think we maybe we start buying in some food, honestly. We tell them to start um, importing some honey. Just some. Because I'm kind of relying on the these orchards to be a really good get for me. And they haven't produced yet. They won't produce for a little while still. Um, maybe, maybe we go for some giant vegetable farms too, like we did the giant orchards. Because we have some, but not like a, not like a ridiculous amount. Um, I don't think any of these. Well, you've already got chimkins. Oh, you could be upgraded to a level three, so we'll do that. Well, so can these ones. If they can be upgraded to a level three, I need to do it. Absolutely. So the fuel's getting better. We're going to start buying in some food. And I don't know if I just did enough to get to my next promotion, but maybe. So let's get this working. We got plenty of people to put to work. Uh, did we finish the farm? Yes. we put four farmers out here. Wheat. Wheat, wheat, crop rotation, uh, fallow, wheat, crop rotation, fallow. Eh. Yeah, yeah, I know. This one is fallow wheat, fallow wheat. A little bit of flax, then fallow. Okay, there we go. Maybe we just buy in the wheat and the, can we just do that? Oh, we have wheat. We have 20 wheat. We have plenty of flour. Is the problem the oven? Nothing stored inside. Transporting. Maybe we need more bakers. Maybe, 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 maybe we need more bakers. Stagger the crops so they don't have uh, all fallow one year. Uh, these ones are staggered. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay if these ones are kind of just like on off, on off, because the other ones are staggered. These ones down here.
Okay, now I see a fuckload of people transporting. Okay. And it's 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 January. Maybe maybe we hunt a little bit more this year. This this winter. I'm working on it. And, um... Hey, maybe we do even more large houses. Across the street, two more giant ones. In charge of the region, the regional wealth is going is going down. It's because we bought we're buying in a bunch of food. It's just medieval frostpunk. Uh, I would not call it medieval frostpunk. This feels very different than frostpunk. I actually like this more. Frostpunk was great. I like again. It was a situation where it was like I understand why people like it. Kind of wasn't for me, but I get it. Uh, I could sell... I could sell stone. Nah, we're okay. We're fine. They don't love being taxed, but... Go fuck yourself. I think we got a couple more threes getting built as well. Yeah, there we go. This one get it? Nope, but it will. Alright, so we need one more after that. My regional wealth plummeted. Uh, it, 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 it got spent and turned- actually, you know what I'm gonna do right now? Because I'm not using my, my treasury. Um, I'm gonna turn the taxes off. Because I, I need the regional wealth more than I need the cash. I need, I need veg, I need apples. Those, again, those apples don't produce well for three years. So it takes, it's an investment in your future. Ah, and some resources just got stolen. All right, what are we at? We're at eight. It's a level two. Just needs tavern. The regional wealth is going up and down a lot right now because of the, the trading. We're buying in honey. Just food to get us through the winter. This is a lean winter. Population's going up. So is food consumption. Uh, so we do... I think we just keep... We, we do another fuckload of apples. Yeah. Wait till we have more regional wealth and do more apples. But it's March! The lean period is 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 getting getting smaller. Um, we got a rich deposit of wild animals over here. I haven't actually uh, experimented with you know like futzing around in other areas yet, so I don't know how it works. Uh, I can't. I need more influence. I have eight hundred and sixty influence you gain from raising settlement level, enacting policy, and conquering banning camps. Okay. How many families do you have to assign to a farm? Uh, right now it's four for each farm, I believe. I'm lost. Fallow year. Wheat, barley, wheat. go. Uh, second farm has got four people assigned. Wheat. Wheat. Wheat.
This one's got flax. Okay. There we go. Crop blight in the game? Uh, I think so. There's also, um... Uh, droughts, but I haven't experienced one myself yet. Alright, we got berries again. The berries are growing. So get on it. And uh, am I one? No, two. Two away. The tavern supply. I think we don't- we, we haven't been able to buy enough barrel. Is my issue. Ah, oh, bandits are fucking stealing my shit too! Do I know to go conquer bandit camps? How do I do that? Because bandits are stealing my shit. Fuckers. Alright. Apples out the wazoo. Alright. So, again, huge investment. These are two years away from full production. And these are three years away from full production, but we'll get there. Um, is this, this is barley. This is wheat. This is barley. This is wheat. And over here we've got wheat. It's wheat, wheat, and wheat. A lot of wheat. Not very good fertility in my area. Again, we're kind of trying to get to rye because that has better fertility in this area. But we'll be okay. We can't assign more people to farm as well to make this go faster. We got plenty of families available. I need more booze. Can I can I raid? Can I raid them? Can I steal their shit? Oh, we were going to do sheep as well. How do I How how do sheep Okay, let's also stop buying in the honey now. Because that's expensive as fuck. So I'm still importing the barrel. Since I uh, desired surplus 20, I have zero. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. Also, look at how the town is expanding. Super cool. But now we have, uh, okay, we got a little bit of meat. We got a little bit of edge. Thankfully, we got bread. We got a little bit of eggs. Could do a bunch of chicken coops, too. That's always an option. Although, right now, I don't think, I, I don't think expanding the amount of families is the right idea at the moment. I don't think we want to do that, because we have plenty of families available. Actually, is there any other places that could use... Yes, there are other places that could use some work. Uh, the wood... the wood chopper? But no, we're good on fuel. We're, we're perfectly fine on fuel. Uh, we can have another logger. Yeah, they could do that. We're still just selling off roof tiles. I don't think we've had a single apple yet. Oh god. Such a such an investment in your future. Oh, there we go. That's what I fucking needed. We get, we got some booze. That's what we really need. Was it one? No, it's two. Fuck. What about over here? Come on! <laughs> Wish there was an easy- Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. Whoa, wait, wait. Oh! Oh! Oh, now they're right on top of my ass! Fuck balls! Um, what do I do? What do I do? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, how do I- Can't rally in the marketplace to rally out in an open field. Oh no! Resources added to, uh, to inventory. Okay.
Immediately just, they're in the town, get them! Swarm, swarm! Archers swarm up on the hill! Shiza! It's May and I've been attacked! Oh, the archers are doing their thing. Oh, my red. Oh, they're in. They're in my house, right? Oh, and there's the guy I personally made. Oh no, the archers are getting stabbed in the ass. Where's my retinue? Oh, they're so slow. Archers! Oh no, I'm completely surrounded! It's just... It's just a frantic melee! Right new? Oh! <laughs> they, they got there in enough time to celebrate. Be playing Ultimate General Revolution. Uh, almost certainly. Can't guarantee how much I'm gonna love it, but almost certainly. Yeah, we won! Woo! Oh no, they killed one of my oxen. Those are fun. And and a guy. I think I lost a bunch in the a uh, bunch of the archers. I think died. But then again, that was chaotic. Uh, let's, uh... Make sure we have a, some, some people for digging graves. We got some bodies. We got some bodies to, to haul in. Uh, and I did lose an oxen. So where's the stis? Uh, so it was one of the ones from over here. So I'm gonna order a horse instead because I have the money. I'm assuming because it's more expensive, a horse is better. I think I have enough influence. I've got 1900, so I think so. Fuck! Who? Where are these bandits and how are they stealing my bread? I have so little food and they're stealing my food! Okay, okay. Also, these guys are working. Alright, let's, um... Let's get the body- oh god. Yeah, I bought a few people died. Uh, let's get the, uh, the bodies dealt with. Let's haul these assholes out of here, and then maybe we go after those bandit camps, because they're proving problematic. And when- when do I get to harvest? It's a good yield. 70 days. Okay. I got some more barrel coming in, too. Okay. I got- I got some food coming in this season. All right, huck them in the in the compost heap. What happens if you What happens if you run out of enough plots? Where are the apples? I see apples. <laughs> All right, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're okay. Okay. Um. So the bandits are over this way. So can I? Equipment's missing on these ones, but that's okay. Can I rally the troops? And 
and go take out those bandits up here and then maybe claim a territory. And I can just, yeah. All right. <gasps> That's not so hot. That's not so hot. Lots of clay. So there's two bandit camps here. Bam! Getting snuck up on by a Lady Magnus. All right, you guys are slow, so fuck off. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, are they in there? Like, I don't see any people. How do I murder you? Uh, when searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. Could be sent to your people who surely need them. Uh, yeah. Oh no, I want. I was hoping it was food. Oh, here we go. There's there's some guys down over here. Oh, this is so fucking cool. All right, yeah, set up right there. Archers. You can just be in a single line, I guess. Your archers. So they're just about in range. Open fire! <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, stand your ground. Stand your ground! Hold! Hold positions! Ah! Murder, murder, murder. Murder, murder, murder. Oh, I can't. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Stat st shoot them in the back as they're running away. Bye, guys. Good job. All right. Um, you guys. Uh, go take out that bandit camp. And you guys can disband. You guys head back as well. And then the archers. Disband. All right, that was an investment in time. Oh, the first camp is still there. How is that still there? I thought I took it out. Or maybe it's a camp. Oh, wait, wait, the other one's still there, too. Wait, no, that's stone. Gettysburg! Thanks for the 43 months. Okay. Alright, now we go back home. Regional, oh, the regional wealth was a huge, huge boon for me. Because I need to really start buying in food, I think. Or just wait... I think we just wait for the current crop will be okay. All right, so how does uh, the claiming regions work? So say I wanted to claim this region. Okay. I guess I guess that's something I'm doing now. All right. Uh, okay, the yields on these crops are pretty good this season. Uh, and maybe do we want to invest some of the money we have into some sheep, possibly? Or or we could do some, uh, again, some really big, either maybe a bunch of chickens. We do a bunch of chickens or maybe, no, 
Because I, I think it would be better to do a couple really big vegetable farms. We have a couple small vegetable farms. Or, like, medium vegetable farms. We don't have any, like, big ones. Like, like this size. Like that. Huge old vegetable farms. Other towns can contest your claims in the region. I, I think, yeah, I think that's why it's a timer. But, I mean, like, look. Starting to produce. It's getting there. I don't know if there's anything yet. No apples yet, but it's co they're coming. We, yeah, we are done burying the dead. Oh, oh, okay. I, c I control the region by pressing T. Okay, so now what? Do I have to make another town? Is that how this works? Can I just um, collect resources and send them back to the other one? Um, bandits just stole a fuckload of iron. Where are they coming from? Bandits all the way the fuck up here. All right, so like, can we check on the um, the Furman? It's okay over here, farm farming wise. Oh, although it does specifically okay, it is basically a different town. It is a completely different town, but I don't- I, how do I build anything if I have no resources? Do I have to ship them over? That- I may- maybe I need to ship them over. That's probably it. Alright, well here, vegetable garden. Here, vegetable garden. There we go. Yeah, we really need to focus on the, the food situation in town one before we move on to anything else right now. Because the, the food situation ain't so hot. Um, I, oh, I still have a point to spend, though, too. Oh! I can get rye cultivation now, though. So let's let's do that, I think. Doubles all berries, allows beekeeping. Yeah, I think I think we do the rye cultivation now. Because then what I can do is uh, swap out some of these, I think. Is this fallow? For a big, a, a good rye crop. So that one's going to be barley. Barley, I'm gonna switch this one to rye. Zero. Burn the field. And leave it fallow. This field is useless right now. And that absolutely needs to be fallow. Oh, but the, <laughs> we're harvesting right now. Forge and hunt in the other region? I don't think so, because it's a specific other pool of resources. Do we have people in here? Oh no, it's empty. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, food supply went up to two months. Oh! Apple harvest! We got a bunch of, we got a fuckload of apples. That's what happened. We got a fuckload of apples. People live here though, right? Yes. Oh, the apple harvest saving my ass. And we got a bunch of wheat now. Good. Barley, 
early. Is it planted? It's not planted. So put barley, uh, rye, rye, fallow. Nothing in this one. This one's completely fallow because it's over overused. And this is getting harvested right now. Oh, tons of wheat coming in. Upgrade the granary. Uh, do we need to upgrade the granary? Let's take a look. Yes, let's do that. Not that we have a lot of food. <laughs> Problem is we don't have food to put in it. And our regional wealth is good again. So we only need five more upgraded houses. But yeah, uh, uh, still, the food situation is the biggest cause for consternation. Like, we can't even get some of these to level two. Ah. <laughs> Fuck you, bandits! Stealing my shit! Have you uh, a spot to build dedicated rye farm plots? Well, the rye and the wheat grow well in the same area. The rye a little bit better. So the rye and the wheat share the same plot, and then we just swap off. So again, it's an investment in my future, because it's going to take a bit of time. Also, we have tons of families we can assign to farming right now. Um, it's an investment in time, and actually, I think this hill might be good, too. Let's take a look. Yes. This hill right here was pretty good, so we could put a big field up over here. And then whoever, whoever can manage it, can manage it. So rye, wheat, crop rotation, and it'll go, this one will be wheat, rye, fallow, and this one will be rye, wheat, fallow. Rye, wheat, fallow, wheat, rye, fallow. There we go. So whoever, whoever can handle it. Plenty of farmers out there right now. I mean, it's October, so it's not going to get done this year. Again, we're going to go through another rough period, but thank... Honestly, those fucking apples saved my ass. And we have a ton of wheat right now. So it will be turned into uh, a usable usable gr uh, a bread soon. Um, there's nothing in... Where is it, though, is the question. Because <laughs> it's not in the windmill? They're just waiting for it. It's not in the granary. It's in the farmhouse. Okay, it's a bunch of it's most of it's stored in the farmhouse. How do I Will they not transport it while they're busy doing other things? Fallow year's going to be rough. Every I've got 3 sections of crops. And they all fallow at different times. They don't all fallow at the same year. It's just the crops in that one area fallow at the same year. Where... Do we need to assign more people to go do more hauling? Who's in charge of hauling it? We need more oxen. I don't think the oxen haul grain. I think they only haul the construction material. I think these guys are in charge of doing it, but they're just busy doing other things right now. So, like, we... What, where are... That's woodcutter. Yeah, because, like... You're just hanging around. What is going on? I've got I've got wheat, nobody's doing anything with it. 
And I'm out of food now. Which means I need to buy it in. Well, um, yeah, there's 51 wheat. We're still importing small amounts of barley, which is fine. We still have a tiny bit of apples. Looks like eggs are one of the cheapest. I'll just ask him to import eggs. All right, now there's less wheat. Yeah, so I think the problem is, is that the people who own the farm are in charge of moving it. And they wouldn't, nobody would haul it while there was planting to do. So, Cause now it's fine. Cause now winter, God damn it. Fucking bandits! So I have no idea what to do over here. Uh, okay, okay. No, uh, this is my house. Next year, the apples. I'm telling you. Also, people did move into these fields, so they did start finally planting some veg. So next year will be better. I'm trying. Where's all the... Where's all... all the... Now there's a fuckload of flowers sitting around. And nothing stored in the oven. Where's all the flour? You take the flour, you bring it to the oven, you make the bread. <laughs> so what's, I think what's happening is they won't do task B until ask day is uh, um, completed. So now they're working on it. Make road, that's, the, the problem is not the road. The problem is, is the way that the work is handled. They won't do um, the, like, like they won't haul the, 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 the wheat to the mill until the planting's done. And then they won't haul the flour to the oven until the grinding's done. So when everything comes in in big bunches, it's a big lag between getting anything done. It's just, it's just a weird way that the, uh, the, uh, like the efficiency works with the, cause everybody, the problem is, is because the people from the mill are not in charge of ha hauling the wheat. And the people from the oven are not in charge of hauling the flour. They only go one direction. They don't go the other direction. They don't go both directions. So, like, this this task has to be 100% complete before it'll get to this one. And then this task has to be 100% complete before it'll get to that one. Instead of saying, hey bring some wheat here and then some flour there. It's just a weirdness in the hauling logic. It, I, I think it should work that they should haul both directions. Like for this, because it's an intermediary step, they should be willing instead of sitting around doing nothing to go grab the wheat. And then when the flour is done, also be willing to haul it to the oven. But because it's, Omni, it, it's unidirectional. It's not omnidirectional, is the problem. But now the starving, the starving should start abating as the oven starts producing, because it's already January. We're already part way through. We just we we just need to stave off the hunger pangs for a little while. I I grew too fast. But this, 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 this next coming year, because this next coming year will have 
a full crop of apples, a partial crop of apples, and the third field will will operate. So, also my one. Oh no, I'm four four upgrades away from my next point, which I don't think will be a. Which while everybody's starving to death, I don't think we're gonna. Be, no, no, we're star. We're very starving to death. We're not starving to death. It's just a little a little bit of hunger pangs. So we have another, we have, do we want to go take out those bandits while, um, yeah, I think we do. I think we take out these bandits while, uh, while it's winter time. I kind of feel like maybe they're not going to be super happy about, um, fighting bandits in the winter, but, you know, what else are you doing? Should build a windmill in the bakery by the other fields. The proximity is not the issue. Is there any? Oh no, that's that. Those are stones. Oh fuck, where was it? Oh, it's over here. the The issue is not how like it's taking people a long time to get from point A to point B. The issue is they don't go, they don't start uh, uh, task B until task A is 100% done. And they don't start task C until task A is 100% done. Or task B is 100% done. Rah! Outnumber them two to one, I'm confident. Stabby, stabby. And then just leave their bodies to rot, it's fine. Not A. Even with the with, with with the bandit camps taken out, it seems like I still get that. They just stole all my fucking iron. Where are the, what bandits? Are there more bandits around? None there. None there. There's one way the fuck out here. It's a little annoying that it's not like that. That it's just a ran It seems to be like a random event. That you can't affect? I don't think I can uh, affect it in any way. Doesn't seem like I can, other than going out there and trying to kill them. Okay, and then... We need to refresh this, and we can send them home. Alright, what about over here? Let's open this up and see. Uh, are automatically uh, used for the layout of castle walls. Gates are created automatically. Outer tower of projectiles. Increase maximum retinue size. So none of these say anything about... Increasing defenses. Walls around your storage and town center. I don't think that does anything, because none of these say anything about, like, bandits. Like, we could put in the walls and the gates for lulls. We can throw in some more towers just to make it look cool. Something over here. Put a couple more of those in. Oh. Okay, this is also something I wish that didn't happen. I wish I could still commit it even if I didn't have the resources, because then just deliver the resources when you can. Okay, never mind. Uh, I have 600 planks, though, so, um... Maybe, maybe, maybe turn you off for a while. We have fuel, we don't have any food, but the winter is over.
Yes, 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 yes. People are hungry. I get it. And soon we'll be able to start gathering berries and apples and veg and all that delicious stuff. See? The veg is being vegged. They're, 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 they're handling their crops. Uh, and these crops are already being handled. So we actually have some wheat planted already. That's good. And these ones are being planted as we speak. This will be the first... Whoa! I didn't realize that was a fuck... I never even noticed that. That's a sheer fucking cliff there. I, didn't, I did not know that was a thing. So this is the fallow... You Although now... Do I need to burn the crop when it's fallow? That's flax. I don't know what's happening here. Why can't I just assign it to be something else right now? Or whatever. Well, that's all being planted. This is all being planted. Uh, we've still got five barrel. I've somehow got negative one firewood. I don't know how I manage that. I have no idea how I manage that. And the apples. The apples will be my savior. The apples and the veg will be my savior. Although, I can't help but notice you're working kind of fucking slow. So, I think I think you're gonna need to pick it up. Although, these guys are doing good. I'm so low on food. Yeah, we ate all the bread. Son of a fuck! Whoa! Okay, those it's it it's just I gotta walk all the way across the goddamn map and wipe those bandits out. Okay. No matter what, I gotta do that. Well, let's just wait until all of the crops are confirmed planted. Which it looks like at this point they are. No, they're still working this one. Are they still working this one too? Are they planting flax right now? And then we got barley rye. Yeah, wait till the farmers are done. Yeah, it's I, I I thought it might be a proximity thing, but it's just like, yeah, no, they're just they're over there and no matter where they are, they're constantly raiding me and stealing my stuff. I don't even know if I have any iron left now. I got a lot of fucking shoes. Maybe I could sell some shoes. Hang on. No, I don't I have money. God buying things buying eggs too damn expensive. Order a new horse. After placing an order of livestock, horse. Is there a point in having a horse here? Also, how many, um... I feel like I should stop selling the roof tiles at some point. Because we do need those for upgrading, um, buildings. So no trade there. Maybe we sell some... Uh... Okay. Let's just keep... Oh, we don't even need 500. Also, maybe we maybe we export some planks. We 500 of those too. There we go. Check what you need to start a camp in the new area. Oh god. Um. Uh. <laughs> it was here. Uh, 250 ducats. Place an empty claim territory to settle it. Grants the base starting supplies and five... Okay. So, can I go over here? And I believe... There was a fair... A, a good amount of food here. Right? Do we maybe want to start them... Maybe we just start them right there. Okay. Um... I can't change this. I don't have any other options for this. Okay, so we do that. So we've got our hitching post. We got our basic supplies and we got homeless people. 
The crown on resource type mean? Any idea? Uh, the crown. Where are we looking? Here. King's favor. Oh, crown on resource deposit. Oh, this little thing right there. It means it's rich. So it's a rich deposit of animals and a rich deposit of berries. Sorry. Yeah, it just means it's better. So here, we're gonna immediately start off with, uh, we have to have the logging camp, which we'll just place in the middle here. We'll put in the forester's hut. It's at the end of this road here, I think. I'll put it up here. I think that'll be a little bit better. And then just connect those in. There we go. And then we've also got a, a rich supply of hunting over here. That is a nice hill. Uh, so we'll do the hunter's guy right there. And then this just needs to kind of come down this way. Right there. there we go. Okay. And we hope for the best over here. Because ideally, what I'm thinking here is that if these, we just keep this real small and these guys just gather food and then maybe we can uh, ship it back to the other place because these are two rich deposits. All right, so one family there. Let's go back to the other place, make sure. <laughs> when, when, when do the crops come in? All right, we've got a bunch of wheat coming in in a hundred days. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we've got a bunch of rye coming in in the same amount of time. Next harvest of rye is 241. That should last. Okay, back over here. Um gather for me and then this is the next thing they've got to work on that's a bit of a hike a bit of a hill place a forager's hut ah uh, it's a forester's hut fuck it's the wrong thing I built the wrong goddamn thing what about over here that's still that's the right thing this one Forager, not Forester. They look very similar. And they sound very similar. And they both have to do with plants. Hunting cap. Okay. Okay, now. <laughs> so that's working. We'll get this one up and running soon. Sorry about that, guys. That was a little error in planning. Boom, baby. Okay. Uh, and then we need some people. Houses. People houses. So I think what we'll do for now is just start here. Oh, um, I only have enough resources for a few, so I can't go big just yet. Uh, so we'll just do a couple right here, I think. That's a start right there. All right. So do that. Uh, oh, you need all... You, 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 God, you guys need food almost every day. Um, put in a well. Oh, uh, we need underground water, right? So put in the well down here. You need a little market space, which I'm going to put in 
That's that's excessive. That's fine. Market. Uh, logistics, you will need a granary. Oh, bugs man can't fit anything in there. And a storehouse. Good luck. The music is banging again. No food still. Ah, the only food we have is the eggs that come in. But this this season's apples. Crisp and delicious. Juicy. What is the ultimate point of this game? Do you play until you get tired of it? Do you paint the map? Do you usurp the king? Uh, I don't know what the end game is at this point, honestly, because I'm playing a, you, you know, a unfinished influencer build right now. I'm not playing the full game. I don't know what the end game is. Also, the veg crops this year should be delightful. Okay. Do, 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 do. Say so, yeah, that's fine. And 47 days the crops get, we're gonna have a fuck of uh, uh, why is the harvest so low? The last time I looked the harvest on rye was like 250. Why'd it go down? It just went down again. It's 195. Now it's 196. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh, you know what? Maybe as the crop gets older, the fertility is going down, and that's affecting the yield. That's probably it. I'm gonna try to take the bandit camp. Yeah, I got a little distracted. Maybe because it's rotting in the fields. Uh, no, it's not. Well, it's not rotting in the fields. It's not harvested yet. It's still. It's still growing. All right, how are we doing over here? Homeless. Well, that sounds like a you problem. I have assigned you stuff to do. In fact, let's just make sure that these are higher priority than the other ones. There we go. There we go. We have we have a house. Congratulations. I can't help but notice you guys are all starving to death. You just gotta wait 20-ish days. Oh, family members are joining in over there. It's like, look at these guys. This, this, this is gonna pay off. And by this is gonna pay off, I mean it damn well better or we're fucked. I really blew up the size of this town before, uh, uh, like, nailing down the food supply. But, again, again. Investments in my future. You, you, you plan for things, and then two, three seasons down the line, they pay off. <laughs> God, think about how bad it would have been if I hadn't... Oh, God. The, uh, hunger! Death from starvation. Oh, this gets its own tree. Okay. Well, um, we have rich berry deposits. So I think, I think we go with that one first. Because that doubles the already rich one. Which means there's, there's plenty of food over here. I don't know what these guys are mad about. Now what's gonna what's gonna happen is we're gonna harvest the fields, and then it's gonna be that situation again of where they don't want to spend any time hauling stuff. So everybody's gonna be starving to death while the crops are sitting in the granaries because they're too busy harvesting other crops. Oh, apples! Apples! <laughs> apples! <laughs> oh, pies for everyone. Oh, 
Thankfully, only like one person starved to death. The apple crop came in. Pies for the pie god! Still only good for a month, but um, ideally it'll be no- Because now the rye's coming in. Now the rye's coming in. You just need to eat apples until uh, the, the harvest is done. Apples until the harvest is done. Now they got a month of food. I uh, now we're low on fuel too. Uh, but with that crisis minorly averted for now, I am gonna have to wrap it up here. I'll probably continue playing this again tomorrow. I was thinking this might be a one-off, but I, I think there's still a lot more gameplay in here. Um, especially considering we're trying to muscle our way out of a food situation. Um, so I'll probably be back with this uh, tomorrow. So thanks for watching everybody and uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh.